I have to tell all of them to shut up. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. We are going to tie some jigs tonight. James has been practicing. As you can see, he's got a head start on everybody, but he's doing pretty good. Mark has never tied one. Then just now got his first jig mounted in his vise. That's right. We're going to start with that and see where it leads us. So bear with us. This will be a learning experience. I've never taught anybody how to tie jigs, and they've never learned to tie jigs. So we'll see how it works out. Hey, we got the weekend angler in there. So, Are we supposed to be impressed or something, Lyle? I thought Dockery would have something smart to say, but maybe not. No, 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 no. not not to him, not not to not to the weekend I, angler. He was, he's, yeah, I, you know, I'm seeing he's on my good luck out there. there. Yeah, well. Mo Creek. Uh, listen, and, and I'm going to get this out here in the open. If I plot something with one of you guys that are in chat or something like that and you rat me out to the person that we're plotting against and give him my number and he calls me, we're going to have issues. So, yeah, I, I got a, I got a kind of an unpleasant phone call from uh, somebody today when they found a decal hidden on their truck. <laughs> I wonder what kind of decal that might have been. I have no clue, but it was it was apparently a pretty good one. So I hope it was. A I, 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 act, I actually what? have a wait. I got kind of a bone to pick with the weekend ditch pickler. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, I tuned in, took time on my busy day to watch that gender reveal video, and what's he do? He teases us for another week. Is that makes, makes you come back next week? Could that possibly be the decal, James? No, that's not it. it. That could be. That very well could be. I mean, <laughs> was it a ditch pickle one? No. But no, we need, no, 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 we no. Need to make up a ditch pickle. Oh, I. That could be. You mean the one in the upper right hand corner? I see. What I you're do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I need, I'd also need to get this out of the truck. way. You know what? Hel hello, D. Hello, Betty. Hello, Betty. Hello, D. I wonder if by chance it could have possibly been one like that. Uh, no, no, I don't know about no, that. It couldn't no. have been. No, it couldn't no have way. been one. Okay. No way. All right. Nope. Eric Massey's out uh, there. I'm I'm nervous about tying jigs in front of him. Man, hey, Eric he was, has probably he was, tied a jig or two today. You have never tied one. There's no reason to be nervous. He's there, probably doing one while he watches this and not even looking at what well. he's doing. I don't know how many. I watched him tie today uh, when we got back from Springfield. I was down at one of his favorite places today at Plateau Fire Shop. I know he goes in there all the time. And I was in there today and, and picked up a few supplies and looked at some wish, made a wish list on some other stuff. But um, Eric... It has tied as many jigs today as you've touched in the last several days. <laughs> so I don't know. I fished pretty hard today alone. I went through quite a few jigs. Did you really? I had a fantastic day fishing today, Lyle. That's I awesome. limited out on one body of water, and then I kind of uh, got uh, – uh, I don't want to call it permission, but I took advantage of uh, Sheila not up feeling up to – doing what we had planned as a home improvement project. So I took advantage of that, and I hit the river, and I got another 10 more to add to, to the collection. So I got them on ice. To, tomorrow we'll go out at it again and see if I can't get some uh, crappie fillets in the freezer to last me for a couple of weeks before it gets too hot out. So I was pretty happy to do that. That is outstanding. Uh, says he's going to watch. That's perfect. Whatever. Yep. Makes you happy, big. Hey, guy. Harley. We have to. There's uh, Harley Hill. We have Harley. I'm sorry I didn't get a hold of you today. Lyle keeps talking over me. Yeah, I have you to. Know, I just wanted are. to mention that uh, my buddy Chad, uh, number one son. Got wait, 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 wait. A forty-pound fish today. A blue cat. Yes, he did. Awesome looking. I thought it was a little over, but I think he's just being uh, humble. Yeah, he said he ate, that he couldn't get the scale to, to come out to yeah. one uh, 41 or 42. So 
He so was just going to call it at 40, 40, which is the correct way to do it. I would have called it like yeah. a 46 and been done with it. Just <laughs> kidding. Well, Nobody was in. That, that's like that crappie I caught today, Mark. That crappie I caught was almost five pounds. That picture wow. just makes it look really, really small. Uh, so. I think we better get to tying some pigs <laughs> before these fish get way too big. <laughs> hey, Dockery, Dockery, Dockery. Do you, when did you get the, a picture of of the gang up there on your wall? Oh, uh, my son actually got that for me. My youngest that is son. Awesome. I'm a big fan not, of the knuckleheads. Not, not. Lyle's favorite grandson, but uh, yeah, grandson, yeah, Harley. Oh, Harley's a good boy. Harley is not a good boy, yeah, sure, he is. <laughs> now, Mark, do you have that? If when you put that in there, I try to get them as level as I can. All right, I'm trying to get it to get in there nice and tight. This is not uh. What's the name of the, 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 the vice that you're looking at, the one that Eric uses? A peak. A peak. Yeah, you have to adjust. You see where my finger's at on the bottom? I do. You have to screw that out and the other one in to, in. to tighten them up. I, I think I'm pretty good here, Lyle. You must have it on a stand. I do have it on a stand. Okay. Right. I don't have anywhere available to clamp it to that's uh, okay. that's camera friendly. So uh, we're going to try. I would recommend something, but you probably wouldn't want to hear it online. Oh, okay. <laughs> Once you do that, what I do is I just run a little, very thin coat right. of uh, clear fingers. You know what, Lyle? I got an idea. Why don't you switch yourself over to full screen for this one? I'm sure uh, Mr. Doc, Madocri will uh, uh, understand, and I can watch you a little closer. Okay. Perfect. Let me adjust things here. We're trying a new angle tonight so everybody can. The this, this stand is about six inches too damn tall. But um, That's the first time, Lyle. Maybe you're a little small. Sir. You're gonna to have to adjust the, your uh, your angle because your legs are whiting out the screen again. We talked about that the other night, bud. You were James. supposed to wear pantalones. You, James. yeah, you, James, James, yeah, yeah, right. yes, yes. All right, Lyle. Now, where do you put the end of the 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 thread? You put you you just make it go over itself. Make it go over itself. Gotcha. Are you putting that hard as nails finger nail polish on there? I or did. I did, I did put a little. I okay. did put a little. Now just wrap over it. And now, now pull, yeah, there you go. Pull it out like that. There you go. And bring it down to the to the hook point. To the hook point. Well, I've been watching enough of those Eric Massey and and Roman videos. Yeah, I watch a lot of Roman. And S, SK Crappie. I've been going yep. through his collection. And then once you get down there or about, go all the way back to the head. All right. I think we're. I think I might have put a little bit too much hard as nails in there. Hey, if you do, if you got a paper towel or something there, just daub it. You think I would be prepared for all of this? I got a little microfiber cloth here. That'll work. Well, he's going to ruin it. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. And if you take whatever cutting... See what I do for you people out there in chat? If you... Um, don't let him lie to you guys. Like scissors or razor blade or a cutting device and knock off your tag in. Perfect. That makes sense to me. Now, on, on this particular one, I got to pick up some new stuff today. I'm going to try to to make some gray and white ones and different colored ones. That's gonna... the color I've been uh, doing pretty good with today, the, the natural colors and the monkey milk and stuff. So this is the closest I have to that. I can just cut a piece of white off of this, correct, Lyle? Absolutely. That's what That's I'll of... be doing some of the pretty. And how much do I want to take off of this, bud? I recommend starting with a round, something about the size of a pencil. Of a what? Of a number two pencil. Oh, that much, huh? Yeah, because you're going to lose a lot of it on the big end. Okay. When you get know. down to the little end, by the time you pick the long ones out, which is what I'm doing now, and the fines, and, and a lot of people don't do this, but 
you'll have I think you So something like this might be okay. I got to I can't look at you and have it on full screen. Oh, I'm in the basement. Yeah, me too. Uh, pull back for away from the camera just a little. Yeah, that's probably good. And cut it close to your skin or you're going to have lots of waste. Okay. I need to order me some hackle, I believe. Josh, be nice. What did Josh say now? Nothing. We're not going to repeat what Josh said. But this is what I'm working on tonight, guys. Oh, come on. Very nice. What do you got? Shake it up back up or? Well, that's yeah. his chicken jig. Yeah. That's my chicken jig, man. I had to share that again today. Yeah, I know you had to share it. So you say you had to. It, it's really not as funny as Merry Christmas. It was pretty. Oh, Lyle. It's pretty damn funny. Okay, Lyle, I kind of started it. You you don't wrap tight right away. You just kind of yeah, get it lined up, right? That's exactly right. How am I looking? Loosely wrap it. We're going to have to trim a bunch off the head, that's for you sure. You will have to trim a bunch off the head. That's the whole idea. And you want your tail to be about the length of one times the the, the shank of the hook. Or Mine's a little long, but that's I think fine. I can trim it. Well, you don't have to trim it. That's That's fine. Because you're going to be fishing crappie. They don't yes, sir. Find as being a little long, uh, as much as bluegill do. No, I'm just yeah. wrapping this until I kind of got a feel for it being. Yeah, just steady. Take your time. Take your time. Yep. Hello, Caitlin. How are you doing? Reach up there and pinch your dad for me. I'm not going to put any flash in this one because what I'm going to be putting on it is flashy enough kind of like the weekend ditch picker he is flashy enough <laughs> take a look and see who we got christina dunnigan in there thomas little page country boy cat fishing eric massey of course again d once again chad congratulations again betty what's up team cross fishing brandon uh do -do -do. Let's see who else we got. Creole Catfishing. What's up, Creole? I heard an announcement last night. Did you guys hear that news about uh, Creole and Stan? No. No. Creole and Stan are uh, joining forces on Friday night. Well, good for them. And uh, I am going to be their first guest. Oh, poor fellas. <laughs> All right, Lyle. I'm starting with the Chanel. Okay. I really feel very masculine using the word Chanel. I ain't gonna lie. Chanel. Well, I don't. I can't really tell what you are getting at, but you need to trim off the stuff over your head of your jig. Now you tell me. Well, I just. I'm, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> and then when you start your Chanel, just use a little bitty piece of it. It don't take very much, and a lot of people trim, knock off the. The outside of the Chanel, I do not all the time, um, just because it's easy not to. Boy, am I glad I went to barber school. But wait a minute. I didn't go to barber school. Is that why you ain't got no hair? This is true. That's why I failed. Just check. <laughs> I mean, all right. So I can just cut how long a piece of the Chanel. You know, this Chanel that I have looks awfully kind of sparse. I did get it out of the bargain bin. Well, you can, uh, that, that's fine. Just, uh, I would run off four, five, six inches. Because you're it? doing it that way, you're going to waste a little bit of anyhow. All right. Went for six. Yeah. And just wrap it next to itself as tight as you can. Just like this. All right, when I go back over the Chanel with the with the thread, does uh -huh. that come from the back to front or front to back? It comes from the back towards the To head. front, okay. And this, this? I'll say, this is pretty sparkly. So that's why I didn't use any sparkle. 
don't believe it's necessary on this one. But if it don't work, the next time I do them, it'll get sparkly. And I put black thread on this one on purpose. It could have been white or it could have been gray. But How's that looking, Lila? It looks awfully color. fuzzy to me. What's that, buddy? It's looking awfully fuzzy to me. Well, it is, but you just kind of have to work it down a little bit. See? All right. Uh, now, here's another thing. If you pull all of that out of there and not get your hook in your finger and work the back of it down a little like that, it might help you a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty far down the hook. Okay. So now I have to figure out how to get this. I wish I knew how to blow up just yours. I think you can give me the solo the solo screen, Lyle. If you uh, hover over my window on your computer, uh, you get three dots in the upper right hand side of my screen, and put down give solo layout. Okay. And that should do it. Well, you know what, Mark? I'm What's up? Make a suggestion to you. You might not like it. Start over. That's what I would do, and let me. I got no problem. You. I got no problem with that. Let me watch you and see what you've done, because when I'm building one and watching you, I don't get as much watching you as I probably should. Okay. All right. Let me trim a couple more of these off of here that I missed. Now that I cut all that off. James, yeah. I have to ask, did you go and watch Eric Massage Eric Massey's I, video about using the whip finish tool? Yes, I did. Did you learn? And he was live today. Yeah. He uh he was live today. Yes he was. And I missed it by like three minutes. Yeah, I, I was in Springfield, but I did come back and watch it. All right, Lyle, here's where I got. Okay, buddy. I took the Chanel off of here. I trimmed off the, the whatchamacallit. I did have the Chanel go down the back of the shaft, and I did tie it down, so I got the Chanel at the back of the jig, and okay. I got my... I got my. Okay, run your thread all the way to the back of your head and and mush down all them flyers you got up there. Flyers. Right. Extra hairs. Now pull them hairs back. It's on the other side of your jig. Ow, ow, I'm stuck on a hook. Don't do that. That's all right. I don't feel much of it. Right there, up from your finger, there's a bunch of, yeah, there you go. You had your finger on them. <clears throat> oh, there they are. They're yeah, looking on trim them off or, or just wrap them, them off. wrap them over or something because they'll haunt you. I need a little more light. It looks, it looks a lot brighter than... It really is in here. I'm kind of like dark then. James, how many people got watching? Enough to make this worth doing? Uh, 32. Not too bad. For a Saturday night, they could be out nope. drinking. Hell, I could be out drinking. Maybe they're sitting at home drinking. Wish I was. Problem is when I do that, I don't get any ties, flies tied, jigs tied. All right. Okay, now run your thread. All the How's way. that? Does that look better, Lyle? That looks lost better. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Got it up there. Right? Now run, run my thread over where that was. Right there, right there. You have to pull, right, right behind the head of the jig, just like that. Okay, I got you. Maybe that's why mine didn't look so good. I wasn't. I don't think I was heavy enough on the hook with the oh, thread. Oh, maybe so. There we go. That might be a little heavy now, but we're gonna. That's all right. Get get you to the back. Like your your uh, Chanel is pretty thin. But it's, yeah, want, it is pretty thin. Still got your bobbin. You want to leave your bobbin up behind the head. Oh, at the top, really? Yeah. I thought you said before at the bottom. No. no. Okay, I'm it's ahead. behind it's it. Close to the 
Right. As close as the top as you can possibly get, Mark. Correct. Right there would be perfect. Now, just start to, now I usually put some, some um, fingernail polish on there before I wind that Chanel on. But if you'd done that last time, you wouldn't have been able to cut it apart. It's okay. I'm going to do yeah, it this time. Enough. And then just, just wrap it around there as close to itself as you possibly can. Basically right on top of it, you know. Okay. It's kind of so hard to do. Really, that's really thin stuff you got there. It's thin and long. Mm -hmm. But it's what I have available, so right. I'm trying they to use it. perfect for learning that. Because after you do a few of these, you'll know if you really do like that stuff or you want to try something different. Well, I'll tell you what. If I can catch a fish on this tomorrow. You're going to like it. I'm going to like it. Yeah, absolutely. You're if I don't, it. I'm going to give people your home phone number and have them call you like I did to Dockery. I mean, like was done to Dockery. Easy, Mark. Easy. <laughs> See, and I was going to warn you about something, but I'm not going to now, Mark. Yeah, you're so full of it. You weren't going to warn me about anything. All yeah, right. Actually, I'm all I the way, know. I'm all the way at Betty, the head. Betty's in chat. Okay, so. wrap around the back of the head just like that. And, yeah, cross that over till you get some on both sides. Of all right. I got, like, two wraps on each side. Okay, now pull it back to the back. Now wrap a couple wraps there. Okay, I did. All right, now tie, now cut off your, your tag in. Of the Chanel, correct? Of the Chanel. Not your thread. All right, I All did right, that. Now you need to either tie half hitches in that, make you a little collar around there with, with several wraps, and then tie you some half hitches in it or use that whip finish. Tool. All right, I got a whip finisher. This ought to be this is ought to be comical. All right, so the whip finisher, you you push in like that. Yep. Like this. Yep. Like the and like this, right? And then you got to get a figure four, well, no, no, correct? No, 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 no. Okay, I didn't I didn't start. I'm just. Yeah, you don't go around the backside of it. Let me let me show you again. Uh, let me get a fresh jig because you're going to have it. You're doing it all. You're getting it behind there, and you're not supposed to do that. Mm -mm. And I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna tie one up. I'm just gonna do a whip finish. I see it. what you mean. It goes rather than behind there. It goes into That's the. That's correct. There you go. Right. Gotcha. And then this comes back. I got that four that I've been seeing. Okay. You I need a little more. All right. Yep. Goes in the hook, and then down down at the bottom. Like this, yep. and then I come back like this, That's so I'm right. winding around it. That's right. right? Just like that. Keep going. And you keep the one side of the thread on the one side of the jig head, yep. correct? Mm -hmm. One. And you can pull on it and make it longer there. I think that's what okay. I need to do. One. Two. Look at this, Dockery. I did the whip finisher on the first time. Three. Now pull it up. Oh, I got to get a little. No, pull the end, the further end out first. Oh. Just like that. The hook end. I, I got a little close, no, but. No, actually, you was right the first time. The oh, okay. That's what I thought. The bottom end. Yeah. There we go. Bottom end, this end, and tighten it, right? I now you do that like twice, correct? Yeah, you do it twice. I'm not Hopefully sure I'll... about it. I couldn't tell. Well, we'll try it again. Yeah. I, I would start not... with just doing three wraps, Mark. <clears throat> That'll make everything slide easier for you. One. Two. Three. Now. Pull it off of that little bump. Is anything being said in chat, James? Man, they, these ladies are cracking me up in chat, man. I'm not kidding you. Oh, yeah? Between Dean Which and ladies? Betty. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were Christina. talking about Mo and Josh. 
Now just trim that thread off, buddy, and see if it stays tight. <clears throat> and if it stays tight, your jig is tight, all the material's tight, you want to wrap, wrap some Sally Hansen's clear all around the... Around well, the I got I got a bare jig heads, so I'm not really worried about it. It's just kind of a shame for using these wedge heads that I got over from No Limits. All right, let me see what I can do about this here. Awesome. You need to put something over them threads so the knot won't come out. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. See, and I'm already jumping the gun, getting out my little tool here. I want to show off what I did. Look at that. Heck yeah. Look at that. That's horrible, but I'll take it. I bet you, you know, catch I kind of like that. I, that looks good. Put your finger behind it. I, I kind of like that Chanel that you used. I don't know what kind it is, but it makes that it makes that jig look like a little mini woolly booger or something. Maybe that's what it's made for. Maybe I ordered the wrong stuff. I don't so. know. I like it all right. Mm -hmm. Looks clean. Good job. Eric says bucktail is a lot easier to start with. I think that's I, what oh, I mean. absolutely is. Yeah. He is 100%. Harley okay. Neal wants you to call that one the Big Bird Doctor. I think I'm behind in chat here, trying to catch up. Harley Neal wants you to call it the Big Bird. Mm -hmm. Doctor, you fit right in with calling it the Big Bird. Eric, I just hey, what's going on, little man. Shush, little man. Shush, little man. <clears throat> what was that? What? What? Thanks, Brandon. That's the first one. That's one. We'll try another one. Heck yeah. I'm going to set this one over to the side. For a first one, that's a pretty good job. Thank you. I, I got to tell you. I, um, the fact that I'm kind of blind probably helps. My first one was a fly, probably a dry fly in the mid-80s. And I'm pretty sure it didn't turn out that good. That was a long time ago. I had another jig head over back, here that was that's a little... That's back the doctor who's still pooping yellow. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, don't they paint Don't they paint BMWs that color? Baby shit yellow? Yeah, that's what it'll be. Yeah, something like that. Oh, since I'm here, I don't know. I don't think I shared this with these people, but I kind of wanted to. If you guys can see this right here, this is a little rock. Let me see if I can get it in there. I think I told you guys about this. Yep. See how it says joy? Well, I was out fishing last week, and uh, uh, I was trying to go through some stuff and take care of some issues of, of, of problems I was having. Nothing major, but, you know, I was in, in kind of deep thought. And out of nowhere, this little young lady comes running up to me, says, hey, mister, are you catching any fish? And I'm like, no, not not today, young lady. And and uh, she's like, well, you look like you could use some cheering up and some good luck. So she hands me that and kind of just skedaddles on off. I thought that was kind of cool to uh, that have happen. Cool for school. Bless her heart. She probably has no idea. How much that meant to you at that? Particular it 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 really did. It came it came at a good time, and I'm sure we all have them. We do. Dockery has more good times than anybody I know. However, you, I think you're right. Well, that's. I mean, anybody can get the fish, even though he's got a bummed up foot. That don't listen to the doctor and gets no punishment for. Hey. It's unbelievable. I mean, Katie lets him get he... away with everything. Whatever. She does very, very rarely does she ever let me get away with anything. Oh, bull butter. <laughs> you guys cause so much problems that it's not even funny. How could you possibly say that? If these people knew you, Lyle, they would. Stay with me. <laughs> Josh, all right, I got to read this. Away Josh. Josh over at the Weekend Angler, who who happens to be an accomplished pancake artist. We'll talk about that later. He is a pancake artist. He's, he he says, all, all rocks can bring joy. It just depends on how hard you throw them at uh, whoever is bothering you. 
he missed an opportunity to say how hard Josh, you can him a second. Dockery. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. Because he was screwing around with Christina this morning and making her really mad. I saw her cuss at him this morning. So I think Josh really needs to watch his steps. I'm getting some echo here, Lyle. What you doing? It's Dockery. Is that Dockery? It's not Dockery. It's not Dockery. It's Mark or Lyle. I got my headphones on. I'm in stealth mode. Well, I have my headphones on also, guys. So hey, I'm assuming that means me. I can I'm assuming that means it's Lyle. I kind of like the great ghost here I'm doing. It, uh, I I'm going to call mine Bull Butter. Bull Butter. <laughs> Is Bull that what you butter. just said? I did say that. I had some like really small hooks, jig heads and stuff like that, and I was going to make up some Lyle Stokes, but they were so small you couldn't see them. They were like really short. You got to get the ones that, yeah, that are short. You know, James? Yeah, I know. About as funny as a chap ass. If I was no taller than you, I wouldn't be making tall jokes. Hey, I'm not the one going around claiming everyone's shorter than I am. I didn't say Mendota, 2021. Didn't say everybody was shorter than me, but you are. <laughs> we'll see about that. All right. Should I tell the people at home about the, the wager that you guys all out refuse to have amongst each other? I'm not sure yes. what you're talking about, but go ahead. All right. In Mendota, I had uh, came up with an idea that Dockery and Mr. Stokes should have a competition for the biggest channel cat. The winner has to be nice to the loser for a week. I'm not okay with that. See, that's yeah, we never agreed on that, Mark. That's why I said they all out you all out refused. <laughs> well, yeah. Come on, it's a whole week, dude. I just what want the people I just want the people <laughs> in chat to know how much you guys enjoy being jerks to one another. We do. <laughs> we do enjoy that very much. Uh -huh. You guys hear Coco snoring? She's in full effect today. What's your heart? She's tired. At least she's sleeping. She had a hard day of doing nothing. I have days like that. Shush, Josh. Shush. What Josh say? J Dog, what's uh, going on, J Dog? Is that Jason? Rob. Hey, J Dog. Yes, it is. I don't think I saw. Uh, said oh, hello to Rob. Nice. Hello, Rob. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Welcome. We've got 31 in chat, 26 thumbs up. You guys are the best. Welcome to Saturday night at the zoo. She is cutting them off. <laughs> she oh, she's is. tired. She had a hard day. You know, she hasn't been feeling really well lately, and today's like the first day she's she's starting to eat again, and she got back outside. Also, look, look how that one came out, Lyle. Very nice. Nice and neat. I got a little bit here in the front that... Where's my damn things at? Here they are. That's what I like is that right there. That's nice. I like the black thread. That little collar. It looks like he's wearing a tie. I was thinking tuxedo, but tie will work. Well, a tuxedo, a reverse tuxedo. Remember back in the 80s? Back in the days of the piano neckties? Remember them, Lyle? Oh, please. You don't remember that in the 80s, or were you too old in the 80s? I already to, had to be too old. He was too old. Shut it down. Oh, I was young. Yeah. I was just in, like, junior high and high school in the 80s. Oh, me too. But I think Brandon will uh, uh, agree with me. Brandon Cross, that is, at the 80s, he had awesome music. Right, Brandon? Not compared to the 70s. The seventies was good. Music is what drove me to Did country you? music because it sucked so bad. Well, I got news for you: the eighties country wasn't so great either. 
but it was better than the other stuff. <laughs> I just think you listened to the wrong stuff. I listened to all that 70s stuff, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. I have to mm-hmm. say, I believe that the 70s is the greatest music of all time. We believe in Santa Claus too, Lyle, so let's not get too carried no, away. Santa. Huh? I'm going to try this. What's your point, one. Lyle? There is no point. Man, thanks. So. You know, if anybody wants to know, I'm going to let something go. I'm going to let I'm going to leak Uh-oh. something tonight. I have been I got I got a spy image of a Krampus cane, the prototype. Ooh, yes, sir. I saw images of it. Betty, so you guys Betty, all, Betty. all, you all have something great to look forward to. They'll be mass produced here pretty soon, won't they, Lyle? No, they will not be mass produced. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to. Wow. Do you hear that? Yeah, I heard that, man. Maybe we should I've ask Cindy if, if maybe we should ask Cindy if they're gonna be mass produced, Mark. Uh I'll say something here in a minute that even shouldn't be said oh. on a Saturday night. You know, I kind of get upset with people in my there life that ask the questions they already know the answers to. Let's see. Hold it still. That's well, I'm trying bird. to hold it still. Shut up. It looks nice. Very nice. A little different one though. What's what'd you use for the tail? Uh, green squirrel fur. It's deer fur, but I bought a lot of it, and Katie thinks it's squirrel, so shh, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole bunch of fly tying stuff gave it to me years ago, and I thought, I'll just never use this stuff. And guys, I mean, this is like a massive tote full of feathers and hairs, and they're all different, dyed different colors and stuff. And I just had them sitting out in my uh, workshop. And when Santa Claus in there to said, hey, you guys should get your fly oh, tying Santa stuff and learn how to fly tie. I did, and we went down and bought a ton of stuff. And when we came home, I thought, well, you know what? I've got some more out there in the shed. I'll just go look at it. Yeah, that didn't go over well. Who Katie found out Santa that I... Claus? You. I'm nothing to Your that. legs are snow white, so, I mean... I am nothing but nice to you. Nothing. Whatever. Nothing but nice to you. You could ask anybody. All right, Michael. Morello, settle down. Settle down, buddy. Settle down. What's up, Mr. Morello? Where's he at? I didn't even see him in here. Oh, there he is. Michael Morello in here. Welcome, Michael. (laughs) The battery pushed himself. Help me out of a great I, deal of a pickle. I appreciate it so much. And no, Katie won't let me near her chickens anymore. We don't so, want to get into that. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't talk we're about We're not that, getting uh, into that. No, we're not going to talk chat. about that anymore. No, family friendly. I think no, we should, we should I not. Think we should bring Katie into the conversation. Katie, they want to know if you want to be on camera and explain your side of the story. She says no lie. I don't blame her as mad as she is about you handling her chicken. Not yours. All right, I got this whip finisher to work before. I'll get it to work again, but I think I'm going to need a refresher and watch some some videos from Mr. Massey. And Eric has got about as good of one. I think it'd be easier if you go the other way with it, but maybe not. The other way? All right. Maybe if I didn't have this thread wrapped around the eye of the hook. Yeah, and you'll do that once in a while. And and if you do and you've already got your um, clear polish on it, just put it in your box for yourself and... Now you tell me. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I got an idea. <clears throat> I'm thinking this gray is going to be really hot. I like it. Of course, I 
until it gets a bait, a fish on it. Uh, I don't know how well I like it, but I sure like the looks of it. And I like it better on this gray jig head. I'm not sure how much difference the color of jig heads mean. My God, my wife just scared the <laughs> heck out of me. Huh? <laughs> Sheila just scared the bejesus out of me. Hold on, I'm going to mute for a second, guys. <laughs> Great job, Sheila. <laughs> Got my headphones on. Good job, Sheila. Her. Did you guys see me jump? <laughs> All right, hold on, guys. Man, I'm glad she done that. I know, right? That was like a highlight of the night. We had out of him in a while. <laughs> I know. He's always so grumpy. I mean, you guys say I'm grumpy. Mark is you like are grumpy. extremely grumpy. No, I'm you not. 100%. You take that back. I can't. I know oh, Betty's in but here. Betty, what do you think of this gray one? I'll get it done here in a minute. I like it. Oh, come on now. I know her and Brandon's been catching the hell out of fish, but so is everybody else. Well, my problem is I've got so much competition down there at that lake. It's not even funny. Like I'm just picking Wait. off the oh, early, early ones. Out there. No, down there. No, down there at Thousand Hills oh, uh -huh. is where I've been fishing out there lately. Yeah, I'm sure. Here we go. Let's see what everybody thinks of this bad boy. I like it. Nobody else might like it. But I do. Trim a lot. It sure gives you something to do on a night when you... It does. And... Uh, some people might want you to have a few for them, but mostly it just gets the satisfaction of catching the fish on something you build. I will warn you guys now, you do not want anything I tie. This is like... All right, Lyle, whip finisher. How long of a lead do I want on this? You know, my... Uh... What's the tool called that holds the bobbin? That holds the thread? Yeah. The bobbin. The bobbin? All right. It's awfully tight. Do I need to adjust it or there should it be? There's really no adjustment to it. Is there any paper on the ends of your thread? Well, there was, but I kind of poked through it. Well, take it off because the paper will make it tighter. Okay. Uh, it will spin easier if it's just up against plastic. The plastic? Yes, sir. Got you. That's one thing. Yeah, this paper isn't coming off for anything. It's as stubborn as Dockery. <laughs> hey. God, it's terrible. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, I kind of like the white one. I never did see what Betty said about the jig. Brandon like mine. I didn't see anything from Betty, so she was probably being judgmental. She probably didn't like it then. Hey, what's going on, Ryan? Setting hooks is in here. All Set right, now you... Hooks. Yeah, that's Ryan. Cool. One of the better local anglers out here on the Fox River. <clears throat> He was kind enough to hook me up with a connection. I might uh, have a year pass to a boat ramp, which I desperately would like. I'm going to go take a look at it. I'm kind of debating, though, Lyle. Okay. Because I, I was hoping to get out away, fish other places a little more. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I have to weigh the, the cost. So we'll see what happens with that. But it happens to be, I don't know how this just happened. It happens to be right at one of my, uh, close to a lot of the flathead areas I like to fish. Make sure you got that good and tight now, draw it up against there. Not tight enough to break your thread, but 
Gotcha. I'm going to do a couple of these. Yeah, I think I would. Once you guys get that whip tool figured out, it'll be so easy. You uh, know, another... You may yeah. have been going the right way. It just looks backwards from what you're doing. It's, I tried doing it the other way, and... All right, let me ask you this. Was Is the thread on your side or away from you when you're tying it? The thread's next to me. Okay, so yeah, I was doing it right there. Okay. It just looks backwards from here. That one didn't work too good. We'll have to do that again. Okay. Got plenty of time. Oh, so where was I? What was I saying? Um, you know, I watch all these guys do this, and it looks so easy. It's not people out there if you don't do this. It's, it's fun. It's a challenge. It, I like challenges. It's that, that whip finish tool is something that will save your life, dying jigs, the amount of time it saves you. And it's not hard once you figure it out. But until you figure it out, you think, man, this is the worst. But once you get well, it. I didn't, I didn't have any problem with it, learning it. I just, first time I was, I was there. No, you weren't. Shush. You work on your whip tool. I remember. <laughs> I remember the night you we was doing this with you, James. I did. I guys. I I I'll be truthful, honest with you. I sat there for probably what two hours, and all I my entire jig head was filled with nothing but whip finish knots. Hey, I mean, just over and over and over. <laughs> You're blowing it out in the camera. With oh, that. sorry. No, that's okay. Because if you'll hold it up there, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to like that. I like it. I'm going to put a little bit of this hardest nails stuff on here. Absolutely. I put it on everything. It don't hurt nothing, that's for sure. It's good shit. Uh, stuff, smell, stuff, smells stuff. nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. It smells really nice. Smells like fingernail polish. Oh, so I keep going to say this, but uh, like I said, I watch Eric and I watch uh, uh, SK and Roman. And there's this other guy I watch, uh, Sven Diesel. That guy's a magician, too. He is. Um, yeah. And they just make it look so easy. All right, we'll take this one out. We'll consider this one done. We're going to put it in a fancy. Uh, I don't have the fancy tools like Lyle does, so I'm just going to use my. You got a pair of Lockmans. Now put your hand up behind it. Hold it, center it up. There you go, right there. Very nice. I might there you go. shorten this up tomorrow. It's a little off the back of the hook, but okay. I think I can still get a hook set on it. Yeah. Get a little spit on there, see what it looks like wet. <laughs> for, uh, for crappie, I don't think your tail's too long. If you was using it on bluegill, it might be. But that's just personal preference again. That's just me talking about it. Well, we're going to find out tomorrow. So I got two of these bad boys. Yeah, you catch a limit on them. I'll you be impressed. You I, won't care what anybody has to say. This is true. <laughs> got, got two of them. They look pretty uh, much the same, two different weights. But So we'll what are you doing them. with yours, Jay, uh, Dockery? I made, I made you the little... little uh, Big bird, see that? Look at that. Hang on, hang on. Let's get it up here where everybody can see it. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Chartreuse head with yellow tail and yep body. Yeah, very nice. Got you, Ryan. I saw what you said there. Yeah, there might be. So I don't know. I gotta. I'm going to sit down and think about uh, how many times I think I'm going to get out there. Um, I, I do want to hit the chain a little more, uh, hit the crappies a little harder this year. Um, but it, it's hard to say, man. As soon as I start looking for them flathead, the, the harder they are to find, the, the more I'm going to be chasing them. You know how that goes. Or the harder they are for me to come across them. I call that flathead fever. It's all flat All right, let's see. We'll kind of we'll do another one, the same color. I think James has Dockery feet. What? Yeah, that makes no Hello. sense. Dockery feet. I, I told him never to call me here.
Look at that. If I got anything down today, it's it's getting one of these in the vice. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> Betty needs electric chicken jigs. Electric chicken. Uh, electric chicken. All right. I ran into uh, uh, a young man today named Kai Reese, 12 year old gentleman. He came out there and he's like, uh, Hey, mister, I fish here all the time. I live right down the street. And I never catch anything. There's no fish here. And as he was saying that, my, my float went down and, aimed, and up came like a 12 inch crappie. He was amazed. He's like, I bet you can't do that again. So I did it again. Not as big, but I did catch another one. I just said, I bet you can't do that again. <laughs> no. So he's like, you know, we got to talk, and he asked if I keep them. I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you eat them? I'm like, yeah. All, you know, all the same questions that a, a, a young man's going to ask you Absolutely. when you're out. Um, so we get there to talking, and he's like, well, tell me what you're doing. So I went through, showed him my rig, showed him everything. You know, started talking. He's like, "Hey, you got a GoPro on? Do you have a YouTube channel?" Went through all of that. And he was, he was, he's actually. Uh, let me get some of this on my finger here. We actually talked about that for a little while, and um, finally, uh, uh, after going through my setup with him a couple of times, uh, I had hit my 15 fish limit, and I'm um, like, uh, "He's like, hey, can I try?" I'm like, "Absolutely." So the kid. Cast out there and gets one on his first cast, Lyle, and you should have seen his eyes light up. Oh, oh my! Oh my goodness! I made that kid's day. So what I did before I left is I gave him a bunch of electric chicken jigs. Cool. And I gave him some of my uh, sickle hook jigs that I really like that really work well. Mm -hmm. Showed him how they get rigged up. And uh, uh, I took off on my way. He's like, awesome. I'm going home and getting my rod. So uh, I uh, get home. We're eating dinner Thank with the wife. Friend. Oh, definitely. And I got a sub out of it, too. Hey, bonus, right? <laughs> Once a YouTuber, always a YouTuber. Right, That's Lyle? Right. That's right. Um, so uh, I get home, eat dinner. I get a text. I get a text from a friend of mine who's at the spot. He's like, hey. I'm like, what's going on, man? He's like, you know, this kid you taught how to fish for crappies killing it over here. He just got his limit. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know I taught him? Well, he kind of described it to me, and he says, I don't know anybody else that looks like you, so I was pretty sure it was you. <laughs> so that kind of made that made my night. It really did. Absolutely, man. Yeah, hey. So. That might have been the greatest fishing day yep. of this year for you. I think so. It, 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 you know, PBs and everything's the best, but when you can make a, uh, an impact on somebody's life like that, that that's, that's, right. that, that's something to look back on, at least when you get to be like my age, uh, which is not, not too much older than Dockery. Older than me? Yeah. I don't know about that, Lyle. Now you're lying. That nose is going to grow so long, you're not going to be able to tie jigs. <laughs> but he did say he he want he you know he fished for bass. He's a bass guy, bass guy. By the time I was done, he was like, "By the time I was done, he's like, you know what? I'm going to have to try crappie now." And he's and how he, old? He's 12 years old, and he has an 11 year old brother. Uh, he was telling me a little bit about his his at home. You know, he doesn't have a father at home, so that was, you know, it was it it, it is what it is. It wasn't. I don't want to say it was sad for him, but you know, uh, hey, it, you could definitely tell that he was. Is. Yep, he was gravitating towards uh, a male figure, and I think he really enjoyed the time we spent together just talking. You're my so, favorite. you're my that kind of, for today, buddy. That that made my day. I don't mean to brag. I'm just trying to inspire people to do the same thing because I think exactly it's really important. Right. That's exactly right. There's a million kids out there that need a day just like you give that young man. So yep. you're today's hero. And you know what? He, he wasn't at home playing video games today. That's right. He's got the urge, and you instilled something in him that he'll remember the rest of his life. So good for you. So that's part of the reason I fish. 
is to have experiences like that, not just the successes. So, and, and I think uh, as, as tacky and, and uh, I don't know if I want to, what I want to call it, uh, existential it sounds. It's, it's a big part of the payoff for me. Day like that is is an awesome day. Awesome day. Any way you cut it. Mm -hmm. I never did see what Betty said about the government jigs. Which one? Oh. Like you want I'm tying tonight. Oh, I could get used to just the smell of the snail polish. I know that's wrong, but Stephen Corley, what's going on? The Bullock Experience, what's going on, Bullock? Stephen Corley. Hey, speaking of that, um, the Bullock Experience has a new show coming out. And I'm going to be their guest on it Tuesday night. Wow. What kind of show is it, Lyle? Did they fill you in or did they just tell you to show up and smell nice? No, it's it's about what what what's in your tackle. What what kind of tackle that I use. So um, I'm assuming that they're talking about catfish, but I can go either way. Catfish or um, hey James. Explain to yes. people what that, that light's for and what you're doing with that. That's a UV light, and it's UV glue, and it literally sets up in a matter of seconds. And you put it on, and you put that light on there. It's uh, it's JB Weld Super Weld is what it is. Oop, let me get this out of the way. And it's got a blue light on this end. Oop. Didn't mean to blind you guys there, sure you but you just put a little bit, shush, we, you put a little bit of that glue on there and then hold that light on there for about, oh, probably 10 seconds and it's not coming back off ever. And so, does it get like, does it get hard as like a rock? Oh, harder than that. dude. Who would not know really? about that? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, it's Saturday night. Yes, it's it is. Saturday night. I really like this jig. I haven't heard nobody else say they liked it. But I haven't seen it. I just looked I up and it was gone. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Are simple. Are you sure you're what? not drinking? I'm positive. Carpen Down Under said he thought he accidentally went into a senior's knitting stream. <laughs> Thank you, Michael Morillo. I, I, I like it, too. It does have some bling on it. Carpen Down Under, when you get uh, more acclimated to the to the chat here, uh, we're, we'll time you out for saying that in a future episode. That's right. So and it's all you know. Down under, I think we asked you once before, but could you post in here again? Where you're from, so we all got. All you're it. doing is reinforcing your age and him thinking of us as old, Lyle. That's okay. I still <laughs> want to know. Oh, that's right. You've been old for a long time. I'm still not used to it yet. <laughs> How make, do make, I get make sure you guys are counting your stitches? Jigs. Thomas Little Page to get a hold of uh, one of Mark's jigs, you'd have to contact. More just one of my jigs. Facebook. I'll tell you what. We'll see how the end of the night goes. I may send a cup. May send a couple of these out. We'll see. But they're horrible. But I warn you right now. Let, bear in mind, tonight is the first Australia. Thank you so much, sir. Um, tonight is the first night that Mark ever made a jig. This is the first night that he ever used his new vice. He ever put a hook in it, and I think that he's doing outstanding. Thank you, Lyle. And James hasn't been doing but what three or four days? Uh, about a couple of weeks. Has it been two weeks? Yeah, doesn't seem like it. 
Well, I know, but every every morning I get up and Katie looks at all the stuff I bought and that I hadn't really used it and oh, she yeah. gives me a dirty look and says so you need I'm to keeping track of those. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thomas Little Page wants one of Mark's jigs. That's awesome, man. I'm uh what's the word I'm looking for? Sitting hooks and crossing eyes. What's Dockery doing? Welding? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Leave me alone, guys. Leave me alone. Missy Kennedy, I need some blackhead jigs. Well, I will have some next week. Or you can just find somebody that's got them close to you and purchase them. Either one. Yeah, Lyle custom orders the jigs and then custom orders them painted. I do. I have a guy that makes them for me. His name is Jason Brummel. He makes them, and then I have Eric Massey and his son. Um, they powder coat them all for me because I don't want to do any of that stuff, and they like to do it. And then I just tie them up. But, uh, Eric kind of does it all other than making the jigs itself. He's like me. He don't want to fool with it. All right, Thomas, I'll tell you. I'll make you a deal, buddy. Since you asked, you're the first one to ask. If I catch a fish on these tomorrow, I will send you a couple or three of them, depending on how many I tie. How's that sound, Thomas? But I make no promises. All I promise is they might be a little uglier than they look on screen. <clears throat> kind of like Dockery. Easy. Oh, sorry. Public chat. Now that you make a lot of my welding skills, I'm going to hide it from them. That sounds like fun, Kelly. I'm ready to talk about catfish and panfish tackle both. It'll be a lot of fun. <clears throat> Lyle, send me a, make sure you send me a reminder. I want to check that show out. Okay. What time is it going to be on Tuesday? Do you know? Um, Kelly, you want to post all the information about that? Because I don't remember what you told me. Move your feet, though. Be nice to Dockery. Don't call him a dog. <laughs> I'll bet his feet ain't a whole lot bigger than this dog. <laughs> hey, white legs. There we go. <laughs> You know, See that one, Lyle? To, I might have to just get out the bill. I think that was the worst Lyle. one. This. <laughs> Lyle. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm not going to show you the jig I just made. Let's see. I just looked up and you no, moved it away. I've been, I've, I've been holding it up there for like 10 minutes while Lyle insults me. Don't make, don't make me come out there and steal that bait tank of yours. I will do it. There you go. See? Everybody talks not very nice. Again. Well, you know, you you were you were giving me the business. So I figured you weren't going to show it to. No, me. I was giving Lyle the business. Turn your hearing aid up just a little bit, Mark. Oh my God! And you said it was me. Yeah, right. I, I take that back, Lyle. <laughs> Thank you. I told you it was Dockery. <laughs> it's not Dockery. <laughs> You know, these guys in chat have to be saying, for, for three old guys, they should act like children. <laughs> it's how you keep young, people. That's right. You have friends like these clowns where you can enjoy life. And that is a fact. I think I'm going to try and find me some Chanel that's closer to a pipe cleaner type consistency. You will like that for a lot of reasons. But I do like the way that looks on that particular thing that you're doing. But I like the other two. All right. Oh, and you know what? I'll be doing mistakes like this all the time. I left that initial tag line in there. So I'll just reach in there and snip it. Just don't I'm get anything doing. else. Oh, that's the problem. I got it. We got it. Woohoo! Man, I am pretty happy for Brother Chad. Yeah. Catching that big fish it. today. Great fish he caught today. Him and D caught several fish today, too, not just that but, one. Yeah, but here's the thing. He hadn't been catching any fish in a Dockery, in what do you think? 
And then all of a sudden, oh, I like that, Mark. He, he's and then all of a sudden, he, he ungrounds, he ungrounds D, lets D go back on the boat, and he catches a big fish. Good for him. I'm proud. That's, that's the story. I'm going to need video yeah. evidence that Chad caught that I fish. I know. He caught it. This is true. D is not going to let him claim her fish. Does, yeah, yeah, actually, you guys are kind of right. Damn right, I'm right. All right. That woman Nothing likes life. fish. All right, I'm going to do one more of this color. Just so everybody understands, we're not going to be live every Saturday night. We're going to do several of these. We may have an adult beverage while we're doing these shows. Please understand, this is not our typical inline, um, do it by the book kind of show. This is us just turning loose on a Saturday night and hope everybody enjoys what we do. Um, there's no promises. We're just going to be the best we can and hope everybody enjoys uh, spending an evening with us with our hair let down. Well, we like mockery is not mine so much. Excuse me, or mine. Excuse me, Lyle. Shut it. Shut it. If I need any crap out of you, I'll squeeze your head. <laughs> and also, it, the, the, we'll have these shows if Lyle can remember. Yeah. You know. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> I have to remember to come back up. Do, do, do. Avid's in the house. What's going on, Avid? Thank you, Sonny Parker. He says he always enjoys me giving Dockery crap. <laughs> Shut it, Sonny. Thanks, Ryan. Shouldn't you Says be at the work? Jigs look good. Well, Sonny's made out like a bandit here lately. New trailer and well, I'm glad he got a new trailer if his old one was bad. I really am. Yeah. But man, he got a new bird. Yes, he did. And I like that. You know how <laughs> me and birds are. No, I haven't forgotten, and it's gotta have been twenty minutes already, Chad, so don't give me the business. Remember, you're not up here. I could really go to town up while I'm up here. Missy Kennedy, welcome. I believe that is Missy Kennedy a new uh, viewer. You'll have to forgive me talking about not forgetting. Betty shared out the books experience link. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. Oh. Betty, or uh, D says, hey, "Amen, Lyle. You know me well." <laughs> I think that was about talking about letting Chad do that. Chad says she caught a nice twenty pounder today too. Uh, Ryan, I throw, I use a a Stratic reel on an ACC seven six crappie stick with suffix. Uh, uh, what is it? Suffix. I actually, I actually just respooled everything here. I got like a, a big. 1200 uh, suffix elite high vis mono um, works great. Whatever, Jake, either under a float or I'll actually throw it to him. It depends on the time of year. Uh, when I say throw it to him, that means I'll just, you know, fish it in the water column, high stick it. Depends on the, the wind, too. If it's really windy, I like using a float just to keep the line uh, from bowing up too bad. I can just lay it in the water if it's not bad. But wind is good when you're crappie fishing. You just got to learn to manage it, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm using a uh, B and M uh, seven foot rod with the Abby Garcia uh, open bell. Oh. I do have a I do have a ten foot B and M that I use for vertical jigging, which I plan on doing a little more this year. I've I really haven't spent much time doing it. I always plan to, so that's one of the reasons why I'm debating on whether or not getting that yearly pass at that boat ramp. Oh, Senator yeah. Parker says, "Are we taking bets?" on if Dockery ties himself up. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys ought to be taking bets how many times Mark's going to hook his finger. That would be one already. If somebody had one, it was, you're, you're in the lead. 
Well, if you don't stick yourself in the finger once in a while, Michael Morello says, Sonny, or Dockery, what did you do to Sonny? <laughs> what did I do? Not- what did I do to him? I woke up. That's what I did to Sonny Parker. <laughs> That's how they show each other they care, if you That's really it. must they're know. Like, they're like brothers that haven't seen each other in months, mm-hmm. years, mm-hmm. ever. I think James is just mad because Sonny's dogs are so good looking. Sonny's got some chihuahuas, right? Yeah, he does. Yep. Spoils the chihuahuas at that. But he's a chihuahua owner too, correct? Yes. I believe so, yep. Who is? Betty. Betty. Oh, I think so, yeah. forgot about her. Having them little ones. So, Lyle, when are we going to take a ride to Texas and go get us a couple of dachshunds for the wives? Um, <clears throat> i got to have a certain kind for me. It's got to be short hair and black and tan. I think my wife wants a doppel. She doesn't care if it's short well, hair. business with them because they got a lot of those. She doesn't mind if it's short hair or long hair. She just wants one a little different than the two we've already had. Sweet. I can kind of understand it. I just, uh, I just don't want the. We had a long hair one a long time ago. Mm-hmm. And I got a long hair lab. Oh, uh, I don't need a long haired anything else. Gotcha. Because this and sheds twenty four seven three sixty five. I never have I ever watched Richard Jean the fishing machine? Absolutely, Chad Nolte. Fish when you can, because it's good for you, right? Something like that. It's been a while since I watched them. <laughs> Anybody know Richard Gene out there? Holler at your boy. Set me up. I want him on my show. I can't figure out a way to find him, to get in touch with him. I've tried. There's got to be a way. So, Lyle, when you're making jigs, let's say in one color, how many of one color do you usually make? Well, one thing is for sure, I always build three. Three? Okay. And the reason is, if I go out and it's a hot jig and I get one tangled up and lose it, and I've only got one, I'm not going to remember which one it was by the time I get home. Let's be honest, (laughs) you're not going to remember what lake you're on. James, yeah. Where is wow. that? Where is that thing where you remove? Where is that? I'm looking for it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but and, that, and you know, folks, yes, yeah, this is this is just a typical everyday occurrence. <laughs> Realistically, yeah, though, I, I do. I I always tie up two or three of the same. The same thing because if you have one that's hot and you want to keep doing you don't want to just have one because that's the one you lose. This is true. Tiny says she has each one of them and and uh, when you get home you'll know which one it was you remember you'll you'll have it with you have more like it and then just make some more just exactly. Betty says she has two chihuahuas and a pit bull. I believe is what she said. Let me scroll up here a little bit. I think they are pit bulls. Yep, chihuahuas and pit bulls. Ryan says he has an oldie English bulldog. I had one of those. I had an oldie. They're good dogs. Uh-huh. I had it was big, mean looking, and you know what its name was, Lyle? Uh-uh. Blossom. Swell. <laughs> uh, All right, these are looking better as I go along. And that's what they're going to do. The more of them you make, the more of them, the better they'll look. Uh, that's what we hope for anyhow. And in fact, um, I think every day that you build, they, 
they'll get better for a long, long time. And then suddenly you'll say, well, you know what? I'm, I finally made it. And these are probably as good as I can make. So let's try something a little harder and see if I can make it. And that's usually what happens. And once that happens, then you understand that you are addicted to doing it. I think what will seal the deal for me is if I can catch a fish on it. There's no question. Yeah. I got to I can ask, answer one question or ask one question. Do you think that they are as look as good as what you've been purchasing? I got I purchased a few hand ties and been gifted a few hand ties and uh um, they look different because of the Chanel, and I don't think they look as tidy and as tight as the other ones. But I can definitely see here. This is just my fourth one that, you know, by I'm by no means an, an expert, but but they're starting to look better. You'll get so there. no yeah. and and yes. I really believe that the, you'll understand and you'll know more about it. I can't click on stuff in Messenger and, and get it to blow up where I can read it anymore. I had the same I had the same problem, Lyle, all day. So I think it's a okay, Facebook. Okay, so issue. it's Facebook. Good enough. I'll wait to try it tomorrow. Okay. I was gonna say because uh, I was having that. I was trying to upload those big crappie I got today, and you know, show everybody my talented skills. I outfished Mark today, by the way, guys. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. I no, caught twenty three or twenty four crappie. I caught twenty four. Let's go by how many inches of crappie did you catch? The, no, we're not going by that. We're not going by that. We're going by numbers. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> you was again on a public um, yeah. place, right? Yep, Dockery does. Dockery does really well when he's fishing on his own property. Public water? Mm. No, Dockery actually does really good on public water let's, too. Let's, if you say so, um, not let's today. Talk about the, let's. <laughs> he can see. I like that. I like that Chanel that Dockery has. That looks a little to what? I'm more, well, maybe not. I don't know. Now it, this stuff is. The bad thing is. Uh, Bass Pro got hit hard, apparently, right before I got there, because they were out of pretty much everything. And as it was, Lyle kept telling me, buy this, buy that. And Katie got a little mad at him, so he's in trouble with her, which I don't so, mind. Of course you don't. Um, well, I will tell you, right now, a lot of that stuff is a little bit hard to come by, because a few weeks ago, Cindy and I had a Saturday that we wasn't doing anything, and we went over to Bennett Springs, which has three or four really nice trout uh, shops in it where they have flies and all kinds of stuff. And they was out of nearly everything I wanted uh, because they let it all run down last fall and they oh, didn't, yeah. order, didn't order it back up and now they can't get it because their suppliers are all out. So I was at Flat Plateau today in Springfield. Of course, they have everything. But uh, he said, even though they've got everything and already made new orders, that they're starting to get a little low too. So, on certain stuff. All right. Uh, Michael Marillo says, uh, "Are you using some sort of different material that demands the UV glue?" Uh, yes, Mr. Dockery. Yep. Yeah. This is, like I said, this is what the, uh, just a JB Weld Super, uh, or Super Weld. Uh, I got picked this up at Walmart. Shut up, Lyle. Uh, last time I was in there about two weeks ago. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Like said, <laughs> Daily. It's got a small little light on the bottom of it that you turn on, and you hold it over there for, oh, 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how, you know. You know what, James, you put, a, put it. Put a little spot on your finger and hit it with that light, and let's show the people what it does. No, because I all have like almost glued my finger to this stupid jig head like fifty times tonight doing this stuff. <laughs> Michael, I have to tell you <coughs> that the material he's using, you could use any kind of clear 
uh, glue yeah. to do it. He just one of the advantages of using the stuff James is using is it gets unbelievably hard. Look at I finally got be there till and, it looks good, Mark. Uh, it'll be there till right. the end of time if you get if you bang it into rocks and and concrete and all kinds of stuff. It won't hurt that UV stuff where it may some of the other stuff, but uh, you it just that UV stuff that yeah that's right. It makes sure that the jig don't have COVID. That's, that's a great explanation. All right, everybody out in chat, one to ten, how horrible is this jig? I'd fish. There you go. One to ten, I'd be like honest. It. What hooks are on Dockery's jigs? Uh, these Arky. are four inch or number four uh, Arky uh, sickle hook jigs. Uh, I think these are one thirty second ounce. What they look like. Yeah. And I did order through, what was his name? Um, Six from Nolte and eight from Sonny Parker. Oh, wow. Sonny's way too nice. Sonny likes me because I sent him stuff. We Weekend don't count. Angler says 11. That jig is awesome. <laughs> I don't know about all that. All right, I got four of that color. Let me pick a different color. We might get fancy and put a little of that that fancy word flashaboo in there. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. But um, I ordered, what was it, a thousand uh, jig heads the other day. Six uh, Jason's jigs. So yep. thank you, Mid South. I'll take it. Thank you. And that got Lyle in a lot more trouble, too. I bet. Uh, Chad, be, well, Betty thank says you. the rating is determined by the performance. Let us know how it does tomorrow, Mark. <laughs> Betty knows. If I'm catching crappie, she knows about it. It's a 10 if you're catching crappie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a happy, happy. All right. Let's see what color. I think I'm going to base this one on. What bucktail I have? I think I'm going to do a reverse chartreuse in black. We'll make four of them today. Nine from Eric Bernstein. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, my friend. Um, Country Boy, the reason these are a little bit wider of a hook gap. Let me all, I've got one here. Let me show you. This is on a bigger one here. Um, let me put it up here. I don't have my other bag with me, or I'd show you that. Bullock experiences, I give it a 10, a 10, a 10, and a freaking 10. <laughs> there you Sonny go. Parker I don't know if you guys can see. Sonny says, I want to challenge Dockery to putting some glue on his finger and touch his face. <laughs> How about on his lips? You couldn't pay me enough, Sonny. You, you don't make that much money, buddy. <laughs> I but do love them. I don't know if you can see that. All together, but what do I know? But this is a one sixteenth ounce hook. Yeah, they're they are sickle hooks, Josh. Those are awesome. Oh, All right, cool. I am going to test something here, Lyle and James. If you look at this hook or this jig head, I should say, see how it's kind of dull. Let me, okay. let me blow, it, blow it up. Hang on. I'm trying to get it to focus. Okay. Yeah, it's a little dull. It's dull. So I saw somewhere that if you heat them up, they'll get shiny. So I'm going to try that. Let's if see what happens. If they're powder coated, they probably will. No, even yeah. if they're. But paint might do that too. I don't know. Well, I'm still too self conscious to go into the beauty salon and buy fingernail polish. I know you two are awfully used to doing that kind of stuff on a weekly basis. That's right. What kind of thing? Or nothing. Okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> nope, just turned it black. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Wow, I've been using your J. Have you caught anything on them, uh, Abbott? Maybe you should have just left it at that, Lyle. Probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> but I know he's been catching some fish, but the question is, has he been catching them on our fish? Do 
James, how much was a th were a thousand of those jigs? Is that something you're willing to to share with uh, fish in the mid south? Or yeah, should he just, just over contact? Bucks. Okay, ten cents a jig head ain't bad at all, man. No. Now I'm not sure. I I dropped a name and nice. Yep. Yeah. I agree, Josh. The sickle hooks, they're they're great. They are. Yeah. I'm using these. These aren't sickle hooks, but I've had these for about a year and a half. I've been meaning to use them, and uh, I can't see using these wedge head jigs on anything but hand ties, to be honest. So, oh, no, they're they are not painted for that price. Uh, fish in the mid south. No, they are not. Oh, Those they're are not? just plain. Oh, Christina, yeah. I read that, and just so you know. I've actually bought the second more than I bought the first. And not for myself, by the way. This <laughs> really narrow. Rob, two old vets says Lyle missed how two wrong old vets. is not happy. How wrong is it? It's your fault. I ordered jig making stuff watching you the other week, and it came yesterday and today. She rolled her eyes. <laughs> oh, see, Lyle crowd, gets a lot buddy. of people in trouble. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lyle does. Lyle gets a lot of people in I trouble. I do. I do. Nieces and nephews, uh, they are they hate me when they have to start having kids. Avid Lyle, 23 bluegills, about six and eight inches. Man, I like to hear that. Nice. That's awesome. Boys, I got to give me something to drink. I will be right back. Keep them entertained. We'll be here. We're going to try. Dollar General Papa S says, "I actually did a uh, go check. I actually did go over to the dollar dollars. Is it a dollar? It's not a Dollar General. What was it? It was just the dollar the store. Dollar here. Free? Uh, no, it wasn't a Dollar Tree. I forget what it's called. But I went there to buy that hardest nails. That's where I got that, and I stopped in the fingernail polish, and they didn't have anything that wasn't like some fancy color a you know eight year old girl would be proud to wear to school. You know." Not what I was kind of looking for for jigs. But I'll keep looking. Yeah, that's what I bought. Kelly, right? The Bullock's Experience. I believe that's his name. Isn't that right, James? I think. What's that? He's saying he was thinking about buying a kit for tying jigs. So that's exactly uh, what I got for Christmas. Let me see that. That box over there. It's on the couch. Me and me and James actually there? have the same kit. All right, listen to me, folks. <laughs> Stop messaging Katie and letting her freaking know what I buy. Oh no, this is not big money. Oh my god. <laughs> what box? It's that box over there. I'll show you guys the kit that I, uh, I've got, and it's the same one that Mark's got, and I do believe it's the same one that Lyle got. And it is this one. Oops, this one right here. It is the deluxe flying tick kit, and I think it was fifty-five. Something like that. Something like that at uh, Bass Pro Shop. I got it for even so cheaper than that at Christmas time. My wife had me order it for my own Christmas gift because that kind of stuff happens there around here. So watch for sales. Unless you want to get it right away, go ahead and spend the money. I think I got it for like ten bucks cheaper than that. So far, so good. I can't complain. Nope. I mean, I wouldn't know what to compare it to, being this is my first time using it. All right, you idiot. Stop trying to glue your finger together. I feel the same way, Michael. I usually uh, let her have her way, the missus. Sonny, shut it. So you did say you were going fishing tomorrow, right, Doc? Dockery? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'm Are gonna you head gonna up take north some of these right. with you. Yeah, actually, I'm going to. I'm gonna try them anyway. <coughs> Smoke another one, Lyle. I haven't had a cigarette over a year. 
oh, a year, almost a year and a half. Well, I did have one, but special occasion. I'd have a cigar if I had one, though. Ooh, that does sound good. Does sound good. I think maybe we should do this next time. We should probably go out and get some cigars next time we do this. I don't think you'll hear that answer quite as nice from Cindy. Uh, I'll see. She don't like cigars. No. No. Um, a five aught hook. Well, I don't know. I think I can get a five aught in mine. Some of them won't take big hooks, though. I actually had a 5 ot in mine when I did one of my uh, not tying shorts on my channel. And it was a little tight, but it fit in there. I also was using a, a, a thin gauge wire hook, so depending on the hook. Yeah. Hey, Lyle, uh, sure. blow, uh, blow your screen up towards just you and go start to finish and, and kind of go slow to show exactly everybody exactly what you're doing and how you're doing it. Okay. Somebody in there wanted uh, for you to do a step by step again. So. Okay. Well, let me put my glass back on. Real quick, fish in the mid south. They're called wedge head jigs. I believe you can get them at Limit Tackle. I don't know if he still makes them on uh, Facebook. He's the guy that supplies uh, SK Crappie Adventures with a lot of his uh, uh, materials and stuff. Those jig hooks are pretty cool. I bought them. I, I kind of saw them. I was like, ooh, shiny. You know, like a dog when he sees a squirrel. Lyle's when I see certain. Yeah, exactly. When I see certain tackle, I get like that. And I have to have it. So I bought these a while ago, and they've been sitting in my garage until I was ready to do this. And well, uh, here, we, these, here we are. Stick them in there, and I get them pretty tight, and I try to make this level. Oh, I don't know if it looks level across there or not, but uh, that's how I start them. Put a little bit of fingernail polish on it so the... Uh, Thread has something to stick to, and you can do them any colors and any kind of Chanel or whatever you want. Uh, we'll just do this one like the ones I've been doing, and I'm putting black thread on it. <clears throat> and you just run that thread down the shank of the hook to where it's even with the point of the hook, just like that, and then run it all the way back. And that's a base for whatever kind of material, whether it be marabou or uh, deer hair or squirrel tail or rabbit or whatever it is. And then you cut your tag off <clears throat> and then a little bit of that will ooze out. And then I usually, on this particular one, we're using deer bucktail and it's gray bucktail. And get a pinch of it about the size of a number two pencil. And in the bottom of that, if you hold it about midway in the bottom of it, though you pull on it and a bunch of fine hairs or under hairs, you can can pull a lot of those out and get them out of your way. And then I this is just something I do. A lot of guys don't do it, but some of the the hair in your clump that you got are really really long and much longer than other pieces and I always try to pull those out and make them as even as I can now at this point you want you want your your hair to be half again as long as as the shank of the hook so about like that on this particular one now, you can either cut that off and do it, or you can tie it in like this real loosely and work it around the shank of the hook as you go back to that hook. And then I pull this up like this and do it just like Rackery does. Dockery does. You whack it off. Whack, whack, whack. Got it. Shot it. And then put a little more tension on your thread when you go back up and a lot more tension on it when you're right here. And it'll all stay lined up perfect. Now, usually, 
a lot of people don't do this till the end, but I don't mind to be the right amount of hair on each side of that hook because if it's not, then when you put your chenille and stuff on, sometimes it gets things out of whack. <clears throat> and then hey, we're going to put, this is called uh, polar ice. This is really not polar ice, but that's what they well, yeah, call it. Uh, I don't even know what all else is down there. And I put just a little coat of, of th uh, thermal, clear thermal polish on there. And tie this in. Now I try to come up to the side here where I'm at with, with that, if you can see that on this camera. And then I wrap all the way back down to the head. Then I'll start my wraps there. And I just basically lay it. It's beside it but as close to it as you can get. And that way it covers up the thread that's inside this Chanel. Uh, because this is not a regular Chanel you don't have this problem with, but this makes it look poofier. It's tighter in there. And it, it saves you from having to have a bunch of extra stuff in it because this is going to be really, really shiny. And in my opinion, for what it's worth, I think fish are used to really shiny. I think they're used to seeing shad sides and, and different flavors of sunfish and everything that shines and glistens in the water when the sunlight's shining on it. So for me, I want something that's sharp, sharp looking in there that glistens when the sunlight hits it. And anything to cut that off. Then you know, you you mentioned how shiny that was, Lyle. And uh, uh, last fall, I was out uh, looking for uh, shad spots. New, I was doing some scouting, looking for new bait spots, and I came across dime-sized shad. And that's exactly what they look like right there. Yeah, that's cool. Dime Man, you make that look easy in the fall. Yep, in the fall. Wow. Well, when they get to flopping and turning, and I don't know if they're just um, messing around with each other or what they do, but they're like any kind of animal. they got to have something to do at certain periods of time. But if the sun's shining, it hits, hits a shed. You can see it for a long way off. They're so, so shiny. Uh I know because I've chased them damn things for years for bait for catfish. Uh, and I will again this year. That's my bait of choice. Um, well, it depends on where I'm fishing and what I'm using. But, uh, uh, yeah. right, this but that's basically how you tie uh, just an average jig or uh, a lot of jigs. Now, with that, you could put a a hackle feather on the front of it and fold it back to give it a different appearance. There's just, there's tons of things that you do to make, make them different. And the ones that we've been doing since we started doing this have all been pretty basic and simple jigs. We haven't got into the, to the ones like some of the guys do. And it's not that we can't do those. I don't think anybody that is learning how to tie uh, it would be advanced enough for any of the advanced jigs. And then, you know, I tell people this. I put two coats of this nail polish on. Does it help? I don't know. It makes me feel good about it. And let's face it, if you have a bait that you're confident in, you're going to believe it's going to catch fish whether it catches fish or not. Yep. That's why I do it. I have a lot of confidence in that. And what's it take? An extra few seconds to put the second coat of finish on it? I got that much time. And if I don't, then I'm too busy. I hope that what you guys wanted. Kelly, just let me know. We'll work something out. I'll get you some jigs. I, I, I appreciate the fact that, that people actually want them. Um, All right, my life. Nice. 
I finished this one. I want to ask your opinion on this one. This one looked really ugly in the vice, but now that I got it out, it looks a heck of a lot better. Okay, let then, me get you. Let me get out of here. Right, the next one I tie, I'm going to put a piece of that flash boo in there. Okay. There we go. That's good enough. I haven't. I can't. I got to get me out of there. Right underneath the screen. Well, right underneath the screen, there you got the different uh, uh, settings. I believe it's. No, you're looking at the wrong spot, Doctor. There's a, a lag. No. I'm I, I'm in the wrong spot. The line of windows underneath the screen line, I believe it's the third or the fourth one from the left. There we go. How about that one? There we now, go. Now, let me blow you up. I got to tell you, it looks pretty good. It turned out all right. A little flash boo in there, I think that would be good. Uh, yeah, what color flash boo do you have? I got a bunch. I got, you know, I got like this cool almost... Rainbow. It looks like a blued Harley Davidson exhaust pipe. Maybe I'll use that. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? I'm looking for. I'm looking for a word. I can't. <laughs> this one, Lila, I was thinking. Take a Shut look at it, this honey. one. What, what? Yeah, I'm trying to think of that word. <laughs> Rainbow? I don't know what it's called. This uh, is called. But that'll do. <laughs> This is called Sunburst. Sunburst is nice. That's pretty good stuff. So I think the next one's going to get that, so I'm happy with this one. Rob, heating the lid up did not make it shiny. It did not. It just darkened it, blackened it. Actually, I wiped it clean, and it was good. You could have probably just took some kind of clean stuff to it. Mark, did you use a lighter on that? I tried to. And... uh <clears throat> Maybe a heat gun to do it because I know he treating it with heat gun will do Unicorn that. Corn fart says the weekend angler, and I'm thinking. <coughs> I like that name. That's what I'm going to call this jig once I get that in there. We'll call this one the the unicorn <laughs> fart. <laughs> We're not even going to take a poll. That name's sticking with me. <laughs> oh, now come on. <laughs> well, it's not what I was thinking of, but he's got the right idea. <laughs> All right, you can take me out, Lyle, so we can see Doctor again. Do we have to? Yes. Abbott says he likes it. Let's see. I'm really glad that uh, you guys didn't, uh, or that Lyle did that, because I really glued my finger to that last jig. Good to <laughs> Damn it, I wish I could have got that. <laughs> you know, so hey, kept off the quiet. I, about, I, I, I about had to have Katie come over and cut me out. Oh, man, would I love to have done that. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it in the background. Uh, before the All right. Yeah, there's nothing I'd have rather done if took razor blades split them two fingers yours apart. <laughs> yeah, well. We're live, Lyle. We're live. Oh, Dr. We're live. Lyle. We're live, Lyle. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> Uh, weekend angler says use a heat gun. No, yeah, I think a heat gun will work. That's not what he said. Yeah. Oh, use a heat gun. He used I'm, a heat gun to heat up his lead and powder coating, but I was thinking to warm up them fingers. <laughs> Lyle. <laughs> you know, I do not have to take this abuse from you guys. I can log yes, out of here and get you to me the exact same way. You are live. You have no choice, dude. Is not true. It so is. not true. And then there was two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So when you're putting that initial bead of, of thread on the hook. That's called what? Uh, the bedding? Base. The base coat. The base? Okay. Just a base for everything to adhere to.
All right, now, now get my get my bucktail on there before the flash. Should be right. Yes, sir. Okay. Unless you're going to split the amount of bucktail you put on it, and then you could put half of it on. Let's not let's get that too. Let's not get too fancy here. Okay, that's fine. And at least not at first. I'm with you on that, Sonny. I'm with you. Let's see what Sonny had to say. How about if we put, <laughs> just put a fire underneath Dr. I Zion saw in. that. <laughs> now, trust me, James can handle it better than anybody I know. Oh, absolutely. If he didn't, if he couldn't handle it, he'd have killed me long ago. <laughs> The night's still young, Lyle. Day's not, I was going to say, day's not over yet, old guy. Day is not over yet. <laughs> oh, and by the way, these are some of the jigs that I did and, and what James has got coming. Let me get a right spot here. Uh, I don't know what size he got. These are one thirty second ounce. I got the exact same size that you did, bud. Okay, then you got some one sixty four, one thirty second. I didn't get no one eightieth. Yep. I got some one eightieth last time, and I can't find what I did with them. But um, I got one thirty second, one sixty fourth, some one eighth ounce ones also. So. But I, I think my one, most if not all of my one eighth ounce ones was um, sickle hooks, I believe. But I don't remember exactly. But they are colored, are being colored now at Eric Massey's house. Him and his son was working on, or his son was working on them today while Eric was doing the uh, thing that Kleenex is going to sponsor Dockery if he keeps sniffling. It's because I've been out fishing the last three days and it's been cold up here and windy. It must not have been cold in Nebraska. Maybe right. one of these Saturday nights, Lyle will let me jump in and pour some jigs, powder coat the heads while he does some tying. Hey, Josh, you let me know when you're home. We'll make that happen. Absolutely. Yes, sir. The only cost of admission is to send us sample packs when he's yeah, done. That's right. <laughs> you, just, you just name the Saturday you want to do that, and it's a done deal, my friend. Uh, Lyle, you should be asking Christina that. Because. Christina, is that okay? Yeah. Don't ask Josh. <laughs> You know, if I wasn't afraid I'd mess mess it up, I'd tie a beard hair one tonight. Maybe when I get better. Um, Eric done that for a guy the other day. Yeah, oh, he did. He? Yeah, that Eric was pretty Matthew cool, actually. Did. He had a guy sending beard hair. He wanted him to tie jigs out of this guy's. The guy wanted him to tie jigs and use his beard hair, and Eric did it. All right, now for this flash, do I just take one strand out, Lyle? Uh, I would start with one, yeah. Since you've never done it before, I would start with one and double it <clears throat> and slip it over or under your thread and then wind it to the back, wind it back up, and see how much extra you have on that particular kind. Split it in half, right? Yeah, you might have to increase your, if you're going to tie them there, you probably going to have to increase some lighting. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Christina, anything that allows Josh to do anything? We know we know who the boss of that family truly is. It's surely not him. She approves. Not sure what she's approving to, though. <laughs> she was distracted. Oh, Josh, you can do anything you want. 
What beard hair? From no, from a human, Michael. A guy just from cut a human. his beard. He cut his own yep. beard hair and sent it to Eric, and asked Eric to tie some jigs with it, and he tied some jigs and sent it back. To I, I want to stop right here and say. I'm going to use my own beard here. I ain't I ain't touching nobody else's. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was a little. Um, not doctors, not that. yours. Who else is in there? Not avids. Who else is in there with beards in the house? You guys are out of luck. Yeah. Call Eric Massia. <laughs> yeah, that's just what I'm thinking. I'm pretty much going to do. I'm not even, probably going to use my own. I, I just don't. I don't know. It's kind of strange. Now hold that, yeah, as even as you can, and just tie her back. Focus. Uh, yeah, James. There you go. Got some shiny to it. Yep. James and a shiny hiney. Hey, I have to say you will have to. Leave me alone. You will have to take that at face value. That's right. <laughs> Christina says, if I say go ahead, do what you want, it does not mean <laughs> what you want. Well, in a man's eyes and ears, it means do what you want. Lyle, no, how no, long no, have no, you no, been no, married? No, no. Hold on, years. hold on. Joss is trying to say that it, we just approved him getting another vote. Uh, so, I and didn't hear that's about he, that. Right. And not only that, I mean, after he deleted a lot of her posts today and stuff like that to make her, you know, mad, apparently. You know, I would I would go along with to get the boat if it didn't get me in trouble. And we get video of him getting in trouble. Yeah, we got to have video of that. That's for sure. Christina, I still have <laughs> I still, two old bitches. I still have some funds left to tow one away for you. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he thinks. You get him. Yeah. You get him, Christina. Oh, man. Oh, Try to get this Chanel. As tight as I can. It's a little easier with this green on the black, though, because I can see better. Probably. That flashy would didn't turn out perfect, but it turned out. As long as you got some of it going on one side and some of it going on the other side. Well, I got one strand going through the back. <laughs> well, that's okay. Did you trim it yet? Uh, no, I have not yet. Okay. You might be able to straighten a little of that out as you trim it. We'll take a look. You know, it's been a long time since I needed one, but I still might have a comb somewhere I can use to. Yeah, I ain't used one in a couple of days. You I know, tried to use one a while ago. I went outside and the wind blowed my hair so bad I couldn't do nothing with it. So I went wait, in. Wait, 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 wait. Dockery, do, do you want to take this one or should I? No, you go ahead, Mark. I, 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 this one's too easy. So Again, nose is growing too big to tie jigs with. <laughs> Yes, Josh, those would be great to tie on. I would just have to know what weight they are. And that's to the message you sent me in chat, or private message. Yeah. I like the looks of those. I do, too. The Weekend Angler. Christina says, you can buy another boat, but at least two must leave. Permanently. All I heard her say was, you can buy a boat. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for her to say, as long as you plan on sleeping in it. Oh, man. I can make them in 1 32nd, 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 quarter, 3 8 
half and three quarters. Holy crap. What a deal. Josh, what I need is 132nd and 116th. Anything else, I can't get the line through the eye. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's – Josh, I think you better jump on that deal. <laughs> Buy a boat too much go. That sounds like a heck of a deal. All right. Well, don't know what kind of boats he's got. Don't care. He's got eight of them. Doesn't matter. If two leaves, he can get another one. That's what I call independently boat wealthy. Yeah, man. That's right. But she's going to let him get another one. How can that possibly be? Late, uh, I'm not going to say anything. It's going to get me in trouble. Probably don't say idea. it, Mark. Mm -mm. Man, how rare is it that a woman says, buy you a boat? I'm pretty sure Sheila would say the same thing, to be honest. I know Cindy would. Yeah, we'll be okay with it. I, have you guys seen the prices of used boats? They're out of this world. I'm sure they are. Well, it's because everyone's got that stimulus money, bud. No, not I just don't. that they can't they're, they're they're not getting any parts for new ones so everybody who wants a boat is looking at used ones so the prices are going through the roof wow i'll just go down and steal one of josh's i'm sure you probably won't even notice it from you won't probably notice probably it like a month i'm pretty sure christine would give you a hell of a deal on that i'm sure she would too she is going to need that baby money after all absolutely Formula costs money. Yes. Diapers, all that stuff. Yeah. All right, the flashy blue that color doesn't show up too well, Lyle. But live and learn, but right? Wait till you get. Wait till it gets in the sunlight. It's, uh, it's right down the back. You see it? Look, yeah, I can see it. It shines reddish and purple, and it looks awesome. I would have what put, are we calling this? A unicorn fart? That's right. Yeah, I would have probably put two more pieces of that in there, though. Well, we'll do that on the next one. I, that's what I'm saying. You got to, when you're designing or coming up with new jig ideas, and I do this a lot, um, you have to make a few of them before you get them preference, if that makes sense. It does. All right, I'm going to step away real quick for a second, Lyle. Uh, and, James, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, oh, Mr. Chavez, what's going on, Mike? Michael Chavez. Michael hey, Chavez, you know. I wish you was here to cook me something to eat. But, as you know, as well as I do, if you was here, we'd be fishing. We wouldn't be cooking. You know, guys, he keeps saying that. He's not fishing either. So haven't been able to, but it's getting closer all the time. We looked at a spot today that I used to fish a lot. And it's amazing looking today. I'm excited about it. Oh, Mike, you're killing me. What do you say? Cooked a brisket or smoked a brisket today. Oh, dude. Hey, Laura, how's it going tonight? I can almost smell that brisket. I'm pretty sure I've seen a picture of that. Yeah, I do too. I got to scroll right past his post pretty quick, or I just I tend to linger. Yeah. And cry. <laughs> Weep severely, yeah. Yeah, I hear, you, dude. I hear you, man. He makes everything look so good. I was thinking about him when I was looking at. We was in a store today, and I was looking at their. Um, 
barbecue grills. They didn't have anything like I was wanting. I'm actually looking for a new smoker, but I want it to be a wood smoker and not a pellet smoker. But I don't have to have a new one. Did I hear it. somebody talk of barbecue? You did. Yeah. Oh, now you're talking about damn mango. dockery. No, I heard you talking hey, pellet don't. smoker and wood smoker. <laughs> I happen to have. I have all this. Lyle, I got like that, that. started it. I got that <laughs> Yoder that I like a lot. That's pellet smoker. I have my Weber Smoky Mountain, which I adore to death. That's charcoal, but I use whole wood when I do Santa Maria style on it. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process process of trying to get my hands on a wood burner, a stick burner, but I want something a little exceptional. I'd like to have a Chud's barbecue smoker. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm actually uh, talking to somebody about uh, plans for that, uh, the Chud box. You know, the one where he cooks directly over? Yeah. I'll do that and sell my Smoky Mountain and then worry about a stick burner after that, but the Chud's yeah, are nice. The, uh, that's the Chud box is not the one that I want, but you want the one that's got the charcoal spot on the side. I know you. you got it. <laughs> I know you. Uh, you and me, we think alike, a lot alike, my friend. I do. Would like to have one. We both, we both like that Chud Barbecue channel. That's a great channel, and we both think Dockery's a pain in the butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, looks like Laura the Explorer. Hey, Laura. Laura's in here. Too late. I already said hi to her. Way to be last. Too late. Again, hi, Laura. I was not here. Hello. Thank you for, Start, uh, starting to treat her like you do, D and and oh my goodness, Betty Jean. Stop it. And, uh, well, thank you for coming into the live show tonight. We appreciate it. Best part is you can't kick me out of here, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> hey dad can you take care of that for me i can <laughs> don't <laughs> all right now to be honest with you guys here i'm kind of winging it i'm not counting wraps i'm not counting how many times i'm going back and forth i'm pretty much just doing it until i think it looks all right trying to keep everything level all right, another. I think we're doing another unicorn fart. We'll have four each. And you know what? I make no promises here, guys. These are pretty nasty looking. But I'll tell you what. If I get two more of these made, that will give me eight jigs. I will give two of the silver minnows, we'll call them, and the unicorn farts to a lucky winner. How's that sound, Lyle? Pretty good. And then I'll, give, the away, I'll give away three of these um, silver minnows. I know you promised some to Thomas. Uh, no, I, I'll, Laura, I'll try to get him some. Angry what did I do? Uh, you just deserve it. I feel like a victim here. Really? D, D, yeah. D relax. D, D's welcoming Laura to the club. What club is that, D? <laughs> Keep picking on me. I'll keep bringing this up, Mark. You know, Dee Dee gets mad because I pick on Chad sometimes. I think she's getting defensive of her man. That's the way women are supposed to be. This it? is true. I'm only mean My to the men God, I like. Look at Lyle's ugly ass legs. <laughs> Holy crap. I choose not to, Doctor. How's that sound? Well, it's like my screen goes white, and I can't figure out why in the hell it is. <laughs> and he's gone. So. He'll learn. Why do I not think he will? I just, I don't either. Yeah, I'm not, I'll never learn. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, James. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We just have too much fun. Too 
Too much fun. Mm. Uh, this one's got a couple of flyers here, but I guess I can just pull them off, right, Lyle? Yeah, to trim them off with a pair of scissors or something. All right, now let me get me some of this unicorn fart material. Dockery. Yes. Center your camera up so people can see what you're doing. Well, I will here in a second, and I had to fix my camera here. While I'm it. busy looking at that bait cooler, making Use plans on how to steal it. Yeah, that's enough of that, Mark. That's enough of that. <laughs> that is enough of that. I really like this gray one. I hope it catches as many fish as I plan on it catching. Except when you get it on your skin, you heat it up and it burns. It does burn. Right yeah. Or you get your finger stuck to the jig. <laughs> well, go ahead and do that. We'll watch. No, I'm not going to do that. We will Did, watch. Give it a Did that hurt I know change? you will. Oh, Actually, yeah, man. That light, when it heats up, that blue, if you see it smoke a little bit, you get it on your finger, you know why it's <laughs> A crap pot. <laughs> I can't figure out how that, it must be a, a chemical reaction. That's what it is. Whatever it is, it's light sensitive, UV light sensitive material. So I probably yeah. ought to get some of that stuff. I hate the dock where you'd have something cool like that, and I ain't got it. Why does that not surprise me, Lyle? There it goes. That's a little that. smaller one of those. I and the reason, the guys, the reason, one. shush, family friendly, <laughs> you idiot. Um, and the reason why I'm leaving those tail long on these guys is because if I get out there on the water and I, you know, the fish are kind of finicky and they want a smaller tail, I can trim those back a little bit. I can always cut some off. It's hard to put them back on. What are you going to have with you to trim them with? A pair of scissors. Okay. I got a pair in my bag. Okay. Everybody don't have a pair of scissors in their bag. Well... But then again, you are the James Laura. That's pretty much what it is. Laura, that's pretty much what it is. You are the James Dock. D, I have been defending you all night. I have been on your side. Be nice. <laughs> Get him, D. You should hear how he talks about you in private. Same way I talk to her. All this, her or I, he is I, here. I, Play that D like a fiddle when it comes to you, Mark. She's, I got her in the palm of my hand. I'm not quite sure that's how that goes. I don't think so either. It's what he claims. We know better. J-Dog, you better stay out of this, buddy. <laughs> now, just so people know that when I'm doing this, I choose to make mine smaller like that. If I wanted them bigger, I'd make a double wrap over top of this and make that body thicker. But now I, you tell me. I don't want mine that way. Uh, but it can be done that way. And they so all you don't want your you don't want that body jig looking like your body. Is that what I, you're that's saying? That's exactly right. I don't want this body okay. looking like mine. But now they also make, this is a medium Chanel, and they also make fine, which is smaller diameter, and they also make a, a large. Uh, so if you're wanting large bodies, this red is large, and you can see compared to the what I'm using, how much bigger large is compared to medium. And small is about the same way uh, the other direction, so... But medium works pretty much for everything. And like I say, if I want a more plump um, 
body. Don't don't say that word, Lyle. Plump body. Don't say plump that word. Body. Oh, I will double it. But uh, I yeah, definitely know somebody who doesn't care for that word that's in chat. So, and I won't mention any names because it can be used against that person. Well, well what? You know what? It's what it is. But uh, yeah, you can make them thicker. Okay, now I, I'm thinking this whip finishing tool I have is too small, Lyle. Let me see the one you got when you're done with it. See, mine looks, it, it for some reason, I'm not getting far enough away from my jig and keeping the line on the one side. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. Are you working? Kind of. <laughs> Damn, I dropped the jig in the trash. I know what's in that trash. I'm not going after it. And here comes Gidget because the trash rattled the paper. But I think. Chad, knock it off. I got it. Well. Uh, see, you guys got me going, and I missed a step and have got to start all over. Way to go. Well, I'd knock it off. Um, I got mine by recommendations of Lyle, and I'm going to look over here, and I can tell you in just a minute. Uh, I don't know they make a different size. Are you blaming all your children on them? Yes, I am. S or J Stockard. Fly Fishing is the name yes. of the company. It's jsflyfishing.com. Yep. And if Mr. Stockard hears this, holler at your boy, Catfishing Crappie. Thank you very much. He wants to know, do you prefer husky? <laughs> husky, what is the question? That's exactly right. <sighs> Family friendly. Family friendly. I should not have to keep reminding you two of this. You thought, this was this, thought this was the Saturday show. You don't well, this is the Saturday it. show, but still. Pleasantly plump, Pop always says, yeah. Sonny Parker says, Dockery can multitask. Let's not push it. Hey, easy now. But I will warn all you guys that uh, are thinking about getting into uh, tying up some jigs and stuff like that. You're going to have little small bits of jig fluff everywhere. Yes, Lori, it is a chocolate lab. She loves her daddy. She does, stays with me all the time. And she likes to go for walks. Michael uh, Morello, I uh, recommend you learn how to tie jigs, and you and Avid can get into business together, buddy. <laughs> no offense, Avid. Don't let him lie to you, Abbott. That was a fence. <laughs> Quit. You'll bump my hand and get the fingernail polish everywhere. Yeah. You'll get it on Lyle's fingers and he'll have to blame the dog again. What I'll blame is the dockery again. <laughs> Okay, what I learned is these white and silver ones are a heck of a lot more forgiving than these black and chartreuse ones I just made. As like far as appearance-wise. Oh, so do you like them? Yeah, they're not too bad. I'm getting a little better. The flash is kind of tripping me up because it's hard for me to see with the amount of light here. Here's uh, the la the next one. There we go. See that flash is kind of... Yeah. A little bit out, but That's once right. it gets once it gets in the water, we'll trim that one down out, a little yeah. bit. Just straighten it out. The water will straighten it. Move your hand or something. Yeah, there you go. That looks pretty good. That'll work. First time. Heck yeah. They're just, they're just you, the only way you got to go is up because you didn't have anywhere else to go. Huh? <laughs> I mean, there wasn't. You'd never built one before. You couldn't go get worse. <laughs> you can only get better, so this I is think true. Done very well. 
Thank you very much. Do I have to use the collar anymore? Yes, I do, Sonny. I use it every day. Um, and Dockery hates when he does. <laughs> Shut up. If I, uh, and the reason I think that I still use it is because I never did burn her with it real bad, but I take her out and I might go two or three days and never have to touch it. And then one day she'll just sky out. Squirrel will jump up in front of her, a rabbit or a bird, and she'll quit taking a good strong pee to go chase it. And I got to light her up a little bit. Then she'll come back, finish her business. I may not have to do it again for a long time. And uh, now if I have the door of the shop open, she'll just go out and lay down. I've got some of them rubber mats that was in the boat. Uh, she'll, they're out in, on the asphalt of the driveway, and she'll lay on that. She'll lay there all day. The mailman can come. She'll never get up. People go up and down the street walking and talking and walking their dogs, and all I got to do is tell her no, and she never gets off of that rubber mat. But the minute that I got that collar off of her, she's liable to be down the street. She's just not trustworthy like most of the dogs I had before. By the time they was this far advanced, I never had to have a but she's just she just tests me. She tests me like I test her. I guess is a good affirmation for her. It's kind of like marriage. Sort of. Well man, that's been a great caller, Sonny. I gotta tell you, it really has been. All right. Uh, Laura asked, how is jigging different than fly tying? Well, I don't. jigging is the actual art of fishing. We're tying jigs. Uh, fly tying, you're actually tying flies. Jigs are a little, di little bigger in, in, in size and a little different style. It's pretty standard. Fly tying is an art in itself. Two things I don't fly fish, and uh, I don't have the eyes to tie fly, to be honest with you. Unless I fly tying I takes a lot more years to do yeah. and and to learn them all uh even back when i used to do it a lot that thing got a dockery haircut but yeah how much hey. flash have you got in the back of that james what's that how much flash is in the back of that uh quite a bit actually But I wanted something that would go over when I go down to, uh, say, Saverton. Yeah. Um, that I can go after Skipjack with. Dockery. Does Dockery stay when you have the collar on him? Sonny, he does not. He just blows it through it. Um, I'm going to put the collar on you boys in a minute. <laughs> you won't like none of it. <laughs> None of you know, it, I say. You know, Coco's just bad. Maybe I should have used a collar to train her because she just bites everybody. Does she really? She has in the past, yeah. Especially one. I have one neighbor that she loves to bite. I don't know what it is. Yes, Rob, you're correct. Flies are more intricate. Um, oh, yeah. And on certain days, some of them will work, and the next, very next day they may not, but. Cool, Laura. That's awesome. But you can tie up a lot in materials and stuff. Oh, there you go, Laura. Yeah. Yep. Fly tying class sounds like that would be pretty cool to do. I've actually been to them. Long Is that time. through uh, MDC? No. It was, was that at the no. retirement home? I mean, uh, no, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Wowza. <laughs> Holy crap on a cracker, you guys are mean to me. I'm nothing but nice. Hey, folks, if you're out yeah. there, man, why don't you guys share out this link? Let's get some more people in here. I'd really like to uh, uh, see Lyle's numbers go up for Panfish Nation. We want to get this up to where it's uh, as good as we can get it. Yep. Well, we're as good. It's it's pretty darn good, I must say, my friend. We just need to get the word out. That's all. We have had a great time so far, and I see 
Absolutely. I see nothing but the same coming in the future. So we'll see how that works. I'm looking for big things this year. And now I find myself saying, family friendly show, folks, family friendly show. What did you do? Lyle, stop opening that door. What? What? The ones in the audience will know. Huh? Huh? Katie Lyle's making a mess over here on your floor. Who is he now? Oh, yeah. You might want to have to say something to him after this. Make him come here and clean this all up. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. I don't like that. Some of my jigs, the eyes have been covered. Well, I don't go for that. Yes, it'll do. Try a different color jig head and see how they work. Yeah, everybody goes quiet. We're 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 doing a live show yeah. here, folks. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Night, Chad. Good luck uh, tomorrow Good morning. Good night, Chad. Everybody wish Chad good luck in his tournament yeah, tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow, Chad. Keep us posted on how you're doing. Yep. D fishing out with him? I believe I think so. She is. Good deal. They'll have a great time. If they, if they have results tomorrow, like they had today, they, they did today. Yeah, I don't get fish today. I was very happy for him. Now, anybody know what the name of the tournament is he's doing? I do not. Rising Sun, I do believe. Is that no, the one? No, that's that the one. That, that's no, that's the it's one that's in the year. Yeah. Okay. That's the big one that he looks forward to a lot. A lot of people look forward to that one. I'm looking to the All American Catfish Tournament this year, Lyle. Me too. We're gonna have a good time there. We'll be seeing Kansas City barbecue catfishing. What more can we ask for? That's right. We'll see Tim and his wife, and uh, we'll absolutely have a great time up there helping him with that. And we're gonna catch some fish. I do not doubt that at all. Local club tourney, tourney, Whisker City Club out of Indiana. Nice. There's the answer we're looking for. Yes, Thank you for sharing it out, Laura. Uh, everybody saying good night to Chad. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Everybody's yeah. wishing them luck. Cool. The family has spoken. We could sure use the thumbs up. Any shares that you have in you tonight, that'd also be awesome. And remember to tell your friends mm -hmm. that you had a good time watching us mess around. Talk crap. Let's, let's not Make push it, Lyle. Make fun of Doc. Oh, not <laughs> oh man! Hey, and we had Sonny Parker in here, man. Well, you couldn't have anybody better. Michael Barilla was in here tonight. It's been a lot of fun. A lot of good people in here all the time. We did have. There's a new one, Lisa Lee. Hi, Lisa. Oh, hello, Lisa. Nice to have you.
Oh, that cocoa is snoring up a storm tonight, guys. I apologize. I got some different kind of Chanel here. It's called Rainbow. Is that what you had a while ago? No, it's not called Rainbow. What's it called? It's called... Uh, hold on a second. I'm talking to myself. This stuff I've got is called Rainbow. This is called Sunburst. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen that today. Well, let's see what this looks like under the lights. Yes, Stan, it is. What did Stan ask? Uh, tying jigs is very similar to tying woolly burgers. Yep, very much so. I think this is going to be more have more bling than that one Michael Marillo thought was all blinged up a while ago, especially since I used a purple jig head. And it's a uh, one eighth ounce jig head. Of course, I am doubling this one too because it's so shiny. Yes, Gidget, I will take you out here in a little bit. Get your shorts in a box. See what's going on in the chat here. Uh, uh, hey, Ohioan for Life 42. What's going on, my friend? Welcome. Welcome. Just got back from catching a bunch of skunk. Sorry to hear that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, me too. Unless you was trying to do it. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know anybody that does that, but if you was, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Mo Creek Fishing is telling two stands fishing that tying jigs is like fly tying, but for men. I like that, actually. <laughs> oh, let me check my message. I'm having a request. I will be right back. I think that Mo Creek is another one that's been bitten by the jig tying bug. Yeah, I think he has too. Bless his heart. It's a lot of fun. Gives you something to do. It, You know, it does give you something to do. There's a lot of worse things you could be doing. I'm thinking right now Bloody Marys, but that's just me. So you want another test? Is that what you're saying? Another test. Yeah. What are you talking about? A test. No. I'm sure I can talk to Cindy and we can we can schedule you another you test. You just send to your own beeswax. Well, then be nice to me every once in a while. Are you kidding me? I'm nothing but nice to you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Mo Creek. I'm glad we lit the fire. That's good. It's just all fun and games. A couple hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Here and there. <laughs> Here and there. Got to turn down the Bloody Marys. Take a margarita and I'm in, though. Well, I like Bloody Marys a lot. But I don't know nothing about margaritas. But I, I, I am kind of fond of Crown and Mountain Dew. Or um, Southern Comfort and Mountain Dew, or uh, anything in Southern Comfort. Anything in Mountain we, Dew. We, we, we've all seen your blog. <laughs> I I do have some favorites. Yes, you do. Captain Morgan's is one of them. <laughs> Man, I made several of these silver bullets tonight. So let's see what everybody thinks of this one. I don't know how it'll look in the sunlight or in the, the light of the camera, but we'll find out. Let me, let me do this a little different.
I don't know how that. Uh, Put your hand behind behind it a little bit more there, Lyle. There we go. How's that grab everybody? There we go. I like that one. Yeah, I kind of do too. Let's see how that works out. I can catch some bluegills on it. I think that color of flash actually would give it a bluegill kind of look. I don't know if they're cannibalistic like some of the others are or not. Oh, they are. They'll eat them. I know. I'm sure they will. They eat anything. If it's stuck in the water. <clears throat> Oh. Let's just hope Mark remembers to turn his camera and his mic back on. <laughs> he can hear us. He's got the headphone thing going on. We'll sit here and watch you a minute. Yeah, I like sickle hooks. I really do. Yeah, I like those. Nice. Yep. Got a little <laughs> bit too much on there. Oh, well. Hey, it happens. Yes, it does. He uh, may have to go in there with some paper towels and some fingernail remover polish remover later. But then again, it's okay. Yeah. Mm. Sonny says he'll stay with his doctor diet, Dr. Pepper. Oh, I can't drink any Dr. Pepper. No. I don't uh, I don't have the taste buds for that. Thank you for sharing our our video to old vets. We appreciate it so much, Rob. Absolutely. Lyle, I'm still here. I'm just answering messages from everybody in chats messaging me. So that's fine. Give, all right. Yep. Yeah, no problem. We're watching Dockery tie jigs anyhow. Now, do, do you uh, have a reason why you leave those collars on? Um, because I, the other ones I hadn't gotten here yet. And I tried sniffing about three or four of them off today. And ended tired up, of it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, and That's I figured, cool. well, you know, this is better than nothing. Absolutely. And There's nothing wrong with that. I just nope. cut them off. It's just, but they are a pain in the ass to cut off. Now they, they really are. Yes, they are. <clears throat> huh. Close up is awesome. I might even be able to make it better, Laura. Oh, you know what? It helps if I do that a little bit. Everybody. How's it going over there, James? It's going. Close as you can get, just like that. Oh, yeah, this yep. is a learning experience today, but that's okay. As long as I'm learning. Well, they told me that Dockery was too old to learn, but look at him. He's dying like a pro. Well, I figure if your shicky ass could uh, <laughs> type the age, then I'm, I might have a chance. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. <laughs> Grumpy old man here, all three of us. <laughs> Oh, now come on. He was doing so good. 
I know. Yep, see? Guys, that's what I'm talking about. That whip finish tool just... I hate this thing. Yeah, but it's better it than having half inches in it. Well, it's true. Maybe. But sometimes it's easier to do that. I won't get down in there. A what? Yeah. The Weekend Angler says he's thinking of just, uh, we may just have to do a live roast of Chad and Mendota. A live Ooh, roast that would of be Chad. Fun. Hmm. That would be oh. awesome. I feel a roast coming on for somebody. I do too. All, you, all this talk of roast is making me hungry. Stop. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Right now, I'd settle for an Arby's beef and cheddar. Oh, or, it's grub up in the making. I can tell it now. Two of the two of the <laughs> two of the uh, big roast beefs, or two of the hot ham and cheeses. Oh, Come on, focus in. You know, we went to uh, too close, James. Order some Grubhub today, and then oh, we no, looked at what very the, nice. very cool, very cool. I like it. Looks good. And they claim it's free delivery, but the prices are twice as high as normal. Really? Really? Yeah. It's what it seems like. Something about a sub sandwich being, you know, 12 bucks for a regular size one. That doesn't do it for me. I wonder why yeah. Subway come out with that awesome Reuben sandwich and it was only out for a short period of time. And St. I Patrick's Day. No, that was a year or two ago they done that. It was during St. Patrick's Day, but they haven't had go. it since. There's so another unicorn enough. fart. All right, Fair I enough. am, I am up to eight jigs, so I'm going to give two of each away. Awesome. To a looking person in chat, so I'm going to load up the list ran randomizer, and you know what? Something that you don't get to do often, Lyle. I'm going to let you pick between. If you, okay. If you guys are listening in and you haven't chatted in a while, your name falls off the list. So if you're a subscriber and you're in chat, just listen. Please come in and say what's up or something. It'll get you entered. We'll give it a minute or two. But I'm going to let Lyle pick the number when it's time to draw. Which That's you know. awesome of you. And it's a number between one and two, Lyle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got 42 thumbs up, fellas. Heck, yeah. Well, that's We're not bad. Pretty good for a Saturday night with the yes, boys. Sir. Oh, yeah, the list is filling up. That always seems to bring them. Tim Molina's in the house. What's going on, Tim? Hey, Tim. Melissa hey, Kennedy Tim popped Andrew, up in there. Jeff Barker. Mike Chavez is still in there. Jason. j Dog Gone Fishing is still in there. Says, pick me, Lyle. We'll do our best, buddy. Mike Chavez. Sonny Parker. Two Mr. stands, the weekend angler, Sonny Parker, Lore Explorer. How many more did I miss? Yeah, Mr. Jeff Barker. Welcome, Jeff. Melissa Kennedy. All right, I'm copying the list of people. Time's up, folks. Let's get it in the randomizer here. Lyle, pick a number between one and five, buddy. Let's go with two. Two. I like the way you think. Is this is why I didn't let Dockery do it. <laughs> All right, I'll go once, twice. Ohioan for life, 42. Um, hey, congrats. Ohioan, if you're on Facebook, contact me through the Catfish and Crappie uh, page. Uh, if you are not, you can always email me at mark with a K at catfishandcrappie.com. Just send me your shipping address, and I'll get those out to you this week. I have no idea what I'm going to put them in, so i got to find that out. And uh, I make no guarantees to their their quality or whatever or, or, or anything else, no warranty. <laughs> Use them. Hopefully you'll catch a fish with them. And if you do, please send it to me. That would be awesome. Hey, while you're in there, got everybody. Into a picture, not up? the fish. I, I Mark, do have on. everybody Hold looked on. up. Hold on, Mark. You need Pick, to specify the picture, pictures not of the, the fish. fish. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right. Oh my Stage God! I'm like reaching. Fish. I'm reaching for the dump button on Dockery, and I forget I'm not in charge here. <laughs> it drives him crazy. I'm going to give away three of the uh, silver bullets that I built tonight. So if you'll 
conjure us up. I'm 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 loaded, ready to go. All right, Dockery, pick out a number between one and five. One. Good boy. Really? One, huh? Yeah. Lisa, one. Lisa Lisa Lee. Lisa, if you will send me a message in uh, Panfish Nation to us, and I and with your shipping address, I will ship you out three of the silver bullets we built tonight. And I hope you catch a ton. And of let's let's do a, one more, and we'll give away three of these right here that I made tonight. Oh, fantastic! Excellent. And again. We make no guarantees, quality, you'll catch fish, nothing like that. Hang them on your wall and say, hey, look, those idiots sent me something. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make. I'm gonna reload these people into the list just in case we had anybody else uh, pop in here. Okay. All right. Uh, cut and paste everybody over here. Oh. oh, why is this giving me a hard time here? Quit. Oh. oh, I thought you were talking to me, Lyle. No. James, if I win those, I'm going to mail you a fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shut hilarious. It, Just keep going, Josh. You just dig that hole deeper and deeper, buddy. Uh Got to reload this. If Laura wins, I call foul. Why would you call foul if Laura That's wins? That's what uh, Fishing with the Mid-South posted. I, I, there must be some kind of joke between them. All right, we're reloaded, and what was the number that you guys picked? One. And the winner is Mr. Tim Molina. Congratulations, Tim. Congratulations, hey, Tim. Tim. Long time but supporter of all our shows. Yes, yep. he is. Get hold of me on Facebook or to be quite honest. I'll get a meld out for you. Tim Molina is a long time uh supporter of many channels and we all appreciate everything that he's done for all of us and sharing videos and putting out um, uh no putting out uh, contact information for other people during watching shows and uh, all the stuff that he's done for all the many shows that he watches. And, and it means the world to all of us and we can't thank you enough, but James will send you some of his uh, jigs and, and I hope you catch a bunch more fish on them either. Yeah, that's true. Tim says, can I have a sticker instead? You know what? I'll send you both. What kind of sticker you want, bud? When you How about hey, just, send him uh, a get a hold of me on Facebook. Get a hold of me on Facebook, and we'll we'll figure out we'll work something yeah, out. Send him a sticker pack for me, would you, Dockery? Yep, I can do that. He's always a big help to me, so I've been meaning to get him something. Very nice, very nice. I, hey, guys, thank you guys for coming in. I hope I helped you in some way tonight. Doing absolutely, this. I had fun. People, the people that's in chat. Um, I hope that some of you guys might have picked up a little something from one of us tonight to to entice Lyle, you. Lyle, you don't chicken. want to pick things up for me and Mark. It's Lyle. <laughs> I, I, you know, your stuff, guys, stuff turned out pretty good. Uh, Thank you. But it was fun. We enjoyed you being along with us. We uh, we absolutely enjoyed having you in here. And uh, if it made your Saturday night. As much fun as it did the three of us, we had a great time, and that's all we can ask for. Uh, we got a deal coming up, sounds to me like, with Josh, the weekend angler or the weekend ditch picker, whichever it is. Not sure at this point, but he's going to be making jigs while I tie jigs. And he sent me coming up as soon as he gets a date decided on when we can do it. So stay tuned for that. And um, are we going to be back next Saturday night? Don't know yet. Saturday night hadn't got here. But we'll let you know with as much advance notice as we can if we decide to do it. But uh, that's about all I got tonight. Ooh, 
So what do you got going on on Monday, Lyle? Let's plug some shows here because that's what we YouTubers do. All right. Monday on Catfish Weekly. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> I have Has Life going to be on Catfish Weekly. Very nice. Has is burning it up lately. He has been. He's been very <coughs> popular lately, and um, he was out fishing today with the fishing magician. And I know they was catching fish, but like I say, I had to run to Springfield, which took up the rest of the day. That's fine, Josh. Just let me know. We'll make it happen. Uh, and uh, I don't know how many they ended up with, but they was on fish. So. Uh, He's been on fire lately. Ought to be a great show. We're going to have a good time. I agree. And, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, your show's after that. Catfish after that Park. Monday, I have Adam Cook from, uh, what is it, Nautical. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Adam, if you're, if you're listening. Um, he's a guide on the James River. Uh, I will tell you real quick here in just one second. Uh, Adam Cook is a heck of an angler. He's got a style that's pretty original. Um, the the videography on his um, on his channel really kind of sets it off. Uh, it's uh, Nautical Pride Sport Fishing is the name of his guide service. He's a heck of a blue cat and flathead angler. Uh, tune in Monday night, 8 p.m. Central Standard. We'll be talking to him about all things fishing and about that sweet, sweet boat of his, what it's like to be a guide. I'm really looking forward to having a talk with Adam. He was he was supposed to be my guest last week, but he had something come up, and uh, as it does in life, uh, so uh, we're always understanding about that. Yes. We got and Thursday we got the the bait shop, right, James? With part yes, four, is it part four? Part four, of it is part the one four. The one toner, yep. what is it? A, we'll a have trilogy art. plus one. Yeah, we've, we'll have art on this week, uh, also known as Bullfrog. Some of you know why. Mm -hmm. Others, if you don't, you'll have to ask him. Uh, <laughs> so it should be a pretty fun fun show. So. Nice. And we're still working on our guests for um, waiting to hear back. That's right. That's yeah. I haven't got a confirmation from him yet. So we'll I do want to mention, I'm also making an appearance next Friday night on Stan show. Him and Creo are teaming up. I'd mentioned that earlier before you got here, Stan. So if you guys want to check me out on that show, tune in on uh two, what is it? Two stands fishing Friday night, 7 PM central standard time. Uh, I'll, I'll be and over I'm, there talking to them guys. And I'm going to be on, with uh, Kelly Bullock and uh, Tuesday night doing tackle, what's in your tackle? So uh, I'm sure they'll have questions and different things, and uh, we're going to talk about the kind of tackle that I use when I'm catfishing and when we're pan fishing for bluegill and crappie and stuff. So that should be fun. That should yep. be fun. It's going to be another great week with all the other shows going on. So uh, uh, everybody knows the usual stuff. So thanks, guys. Uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, have a great evening. Lyle, anything? James? Sonny, if I nope. was closer to you, I would be glad to help you out with that new thumb and bird of yours. I think it would be a blast. But we're just a little far away. If you decide to make we can meet up someplace, we'll do that. In the meantime, thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you all on the next adventure.